Look at us. You know, well, just I mean, a couple globe trotters. Just yeah. the two of us. So fresh off the heels of a two big vacations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I went Using to patron money. Patron money. Without them, we would be stuck. In, I made a tweet where I was like, hey, you guys should go out and visit. And everybody's like, oh, yeah, I, with what fucking yeah. money? I know. I saw that. Yeah. I'm like, wow, okay. Yeah, not everyone <laughs> makes a fuck ton of money, but. It was $8 to get into those yeah. national parks. Okay, so what? Yeah. The thousands of dollars for Airbnb and air travel. Yeah. The, it was $8 to get in the national park. You people don't go across the world every yeah. month. What's wrong with you? <laughs> every Poor month. bitch. Yeah, just yeah. work harder. Ever thought about working more harder? Uh, well, hey, let's not make this a dud. Let's not antagonize them too much because you, we have limited time to get these episodes out. You got traveling to do later. Oh, this yeah. Month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually I'm on a flight tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm actually going to D.C. tomorrow. I'll be gone for a while. <laughs> just going out there to visit a strip club I've been hearing a lot about. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to blow a couple of K, <laughs> throw a couple of racks on the floor, probably head home. And I'm flying first class. It's an hour and 20 minute flight, but I you thought first have class the would be worth room. it. Yeah. I have to pee a lot, so I like to have that. I like to buy the seat by the window so I can sit by it. And then also the uh, aisle hallway seat. seat. Yeah, yeah, aisle seat. That way so I don't you have put to get past up. anyone. Yeah, well, I have to pee a lot, so I like to... I don't want to bother them. I hate it when people put their knees in your back, so I buy the seats so you buy, behind you buy me. Buy the rub, yeah. 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 <laughs> but I like to cram mm -hmm. my knees in the seat ahead of me, so I buy the ones but, in front, too. Uh, yeah, and I like to, you know, have the option of, like, I don't want a fat person or an ugly person in my view, so I buy the ones to the left and the left front of me, and if a hot girl walks by, I'm like, actually, that seat's open in first class for free. You don't have to go yeah. back there with the normals. And, uh, uh, but when she loses your interest and you make the stewardess drag her yeah, by the neck. Stewardess actually have that ticket. Yeah, that's actually and my she seat. she gets dragged back to coach yeah. by her yeah. fucking hair. God, yeah, that's I, that's always embarrassing. I just cover I, I, I you, cover myself up with my little blanket that they give me in first class. You once said that there was an air marshal on every flight and you really thought that. So, I, you know, I'd probably just clock the air marshal and... Oh my god, she's been tired. She's got resin on her or something. Yeah. She's got bomb resin. I can smell it. Uh, um, oh. Okay, wait. So we we have been traveling a lot. I'm fucking yeah. done, by the way. I'm like, I'm so oh, I'm homesick. If I don't travel enough, I get real sad. I get the Indiana blues. <laughs> well, uh, I've personally been to like every goddamn regional, like international airport, hub airport in the U.S. And I think I found the best one. Go on. San Francisco Airport. Indianapolis. No, not Indianapolis. San Indianapolis actually is a killer airport, but really? I digress. Yeah. Weirdly uh, nice. San Francisco's airport is insane. It is like top of the line. Everything's just like everywhere where someone's sitting, like just doing airport shit where there's like, ugh, like lounge bag. They look like it's a still out of a movie because every piece of furniture is like Bond uh. villain furniture. Everything's like custom. Cool. The bathrooms you walk in there and like every stall is the handicap size. Like it's whoa, beautiful. Whoa, whoa. In there. Hold on. The Paris airport. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And some real be... Herman Miller vibes <laughs> to it. Okay. A lot of beautiful, uh, just like chairs you can move and stuff where they just trust the people. A lot of oh, color. San Francisco's are bolted. I try. Yeah. I try yeah. to move them. Yeah, yeah, well, let's not make this a comparison between our two big trips or anything or a competition, but no, it's, um, there is there no was, competition. There was I almost think. a smell in there that I, was quite lovely. People say Parisians stink, but their airports, no. It was like a mall, too. A lot of, what are those called? Stores? No, like the store where you can, like, you've probably never Apothecaries? been. Apothecaries? To France. Yeah, apothecaries. Thank you. <laughs> no, uh, you can, like, oh, duty free. You can buy shit uh -oh. tax free. Like, they just sell, like, cartons duty, yeah. of cigarettes. Yeah. They call it shit, shit free. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like a big toilet in a store that Parisians <laughs> use because they'll stink. Uh, but it, it's it's like uh, you can buy cologne and cigarettes, which I guess are really big over there <laughs> well, or something. Why, why do people I think they think go they hand stink? in hand? <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. The two things they sell cigarettes and abundance of cologne. <laughs> yeah. 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 And like just like gross stinky liquors like whiskey and stuff. <laughs> but I digress. I, I, I went to San Francisco airport when I was like four or oh, five. No, this I had is to fly all this shit's brand new. Five. Like it's been renovated uh, in like the past five years probably. 
Cool. And the reason why I know the chairs are bolted down is because I, I was sitting in them and I saw, I was like, damn, these are nice chairs. Let's see what kind of brand they are. It's a brand called Vitra. And I looked it up and each chair, there's like these little half back ones that are kind of modern. Like $4,000 oh, or yeah, something. Oh yeah, four or $5,000. Then they have these high back leather <sighs> ones that are $9,000. And this, it's just a sea of these chairs. As far as the eye can see, every terminal has them. Yeah. Every gate has at least 20 of them. And then they're around coffee tables with like little USB ports and little workstations and stuff that are all from the Vitra website. Everything's $15,000, $20,000 for stuff that's like, they have like little cubicles everywhere and, and stuff. And uh, that airport's fucking nice, dude. We just, that we went and got badass. food from a restaurant and left the restaurant to go find a lounge in between and a gate. I've never seen someone mm. want to hang out in a gate. And yeah. I was like, let's go find a gate to sit in. Yeah, go shopping. <laughs> yeah, eat a little food. I would almost prefer like a high school desk where, oh my, I've never cracked my back so well on those little half backs. Yeah. And you push against the desk. <laughs> oh, I have ugh. so much buildup probably. Yeah. Because I don't pop. Which sounds weird. Like all my friends, you know, they're like, oh, uh, I don't really pop. But I also don't do a lot of active stuff. So. I don't know where they go. It's like a twi- it's a twist for me. I like I grab like the arm of the chair and yeah. I twist my lower back. I don't and like to I don't like to pop. It scares me. Did you see that fucking headline of that 20-year-old girl goes to a chiropractor, gets her neck adjusted, full-blown quadriplegic now. Jesus Christ. Well, I don't trust He like I, just turned I, her I head completely them, backwards yeah. or something. <laughs> And, hey, do you want to look like an owl? <laughs> and uh, you feel so bad because they're like trying to find the silver lining. And her mom's like, she can move her one index finger a little bit. So things are coming back. And I'm like, a really Dude. big settlement. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> From a chiropractor. Yeah. Loaded. Yeah. The chiropractors aren't loaded, dude. Go into a chiropractor's office. I don't know. Like, suing people. Were, I feel like you should. You probably just get money from someone, right? Also, no, I'm not going to go into a chiropractor's office because like, look at that. I they're not, they have like a different license or something. They're not doctors. Yeah, they don't have a license. Well, they have a license that's just like written by another chiropractor. I think it's, yeah. it works by oh, higher up, like a yeah. headmaster or something. I don't yeah. know how it works. Because they, they're outside the school of medicine. They're kind of, they have their own guild of people that paralyze other people. Yeah. I went to the villains. chiropractor. I told him, I was like, just don't do my neck. Don't fucking touch my neck. And he was like, okay, why? And I go, because you made me sign a form that if I get mm, yeah. fucking put in a wheelchair, it's not your fault. Don't touch my yeah. neck. If I have to sign that, that means there's a likelihood it could happen. Yeah, there's like a chance, and I'm, which it's like I'm here to feel better and not become paralyzed from the neck down. I yeah. used to get in an argument with my friend because my mom used to go to the chiropractor all the time. You know, when you're a kid, you just like, well, my mom likes it. I like it. My friend's like, no, dude, they're sketchy, like. They have no license or whatever. They're not doctors. And there's like, there's a version of them that is basically the equivalent where you have to go to medical school and it's more like a physical therapy person that specifically like pops you. And I was always like, yeah, you're an idiot. And now the more I hear about them, the more I'm like, I'm never going to fucking go to a chiropractor. Like, I don't know. I don't try. And now I don't when even have, I'm not even going to look up what you just said. I just believe you. If a guy's first line of like action on an injury is to just start cracking bones instead of doing x rays, no. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I want to get some imaging first. I've been seeing TikToks about dog chiropractors, is the thing. Oh. And oh, like I baby my chiropractors dog's neck. Or thing. And, yeah. and she just looked at me like, what have you done? Like, it wasn't intentional. I just picked her up funny and it went like, oh. It just did a pull. Well, these and- people like lay them down and they're like, okay, and breathe. And I'm like, it's a fucking dog. Like, what is. I don't know. I feel like a dog shouldn't pop like that. Like if I don't know, I, ain't it like baby chiropractors so sketchy. Babies like, don't what? even have like they have like well, some bones, <laughs> but most of it's cartilage. Like what are you popping? I'm. This is somehow one day gonna come back and bite me. I don't know. If she's gonna watch this or something. There's just like this girl that's hot that I talked. You know, I was talking to for a second, and yeah. Then I found out she's a baby chiropractor, and I'm like. No, like that. I don't <laughs> no, like that. I don't like. Well, I don't like what you think's a good job like that. And she's like, posts about it all the time. I'm like, what the fuck yeah. does a bait like? Are they specialty babies that the, need this, or are you just like, I wasn't popped when I was a baby. Look at me. The only thing I could think of is babies have sometimes 
they'll have problems with like hip dysplasia, like an old dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, a but German I, Shepherd or something. Maybe some sort of like you know something to do with their hips, maybe to help them out. But if you're cracking backs and necks as a baby chiropractor, dude, yeah, like yeah, when like, you're gonna kill a baby, no. like, or maybe they're harder to break their neck i don't know i uh, babies scare the shit out of me yeah you I should be touching a baby like it's uh, very del they're delicate dude like don't be fucking and, like every when i had to pick up my little siblings they're like support its neck or it'll die like <laughs> if you don't support its neck its neck is gonna break and now there's people their heads like, just fall them. off yeah <laughs> yeah like i don't get that they're just i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna have kids they i'm like they make me nervous they well i'm definitely gonna have an Ill i'm gonna have some bastards and i'm gonna have some you know accidents and shit but you gotta have at least like four or five Ooh, yeah, no, you gotta out, outside well, of wedlock yeah i also i've got this i was talking to my dad about this the other day i have this weird pressure of like me my dad my grandpa my great grandpa my great great grandpa we all have the same middle name and then my little brother got a different middle name and now it's like on me to continue this weird tradition i asked him like do you even care about that and he's like no i just think it's a cool middle name like like shit i guess like but now it's like what i gotta have a kid i gotta give him this middle name get a dog give it give it the middle name oh yeah. okay pip pip your middle name is now <laughs> beep yeah. bartholomew is my middle name so that's actually pretty fitting for a dog that's pretty uh, badass that's yeah. weird yeah <laughs> kibble <laughs> is my yeah, middle yeah. name oh, damn. dog water kibble <laughs> kibble guy yeah i don't know also god i I don't, I don't like I know you have a weird relationship with your father. Do you want to touch on that? Uh but or maybe you don't. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, what do anyway, you want to know? <laughs> uh I just had a really weird like the other day I I got too drunk around my family and I got into a sharing mood. I got very close to just I even made a comment about like Oh man, like yeah, when mom got me that goddamn dog because she thought I was gonna kill myself and like it made it worse for a while. I was like, man, I I was I fucking hated like just having a puppy around and i was like god damn and he's like you were gonna kill yourself i'm like well no and he's the dad that just gave me a gun like a month ago no no no, no, no i wasn't no. gonna kill myself and he's like okay like what and he was like really serious i'm like no like you know i, I i'm like i just talk about it i'm not going to and he's like what the f like I go just therapy I, or something I'm like nah yeah he, well, he also, finds like, like I, mouth I, imprints around the barrel well, I just yeah. suck on the air I just think about I'm it I'm like well and like if I was going to a gun would be a lot better way to do it than like I wouldn't want to jump off some well I probably would jump yeah, off something but it's like I wouldn't you know now that I have a gun it's a lot more hey, feasible to the people that were by the way critical of me for saying oh. that you should go travel I saw a great reply to that tweet and that was a guy that was like hey I'm like right. suicidal uh, you know what I should do is go get a huge bank loan and oh, yeah. then use that money to go travel. And then when I'm done traveling, kill myself so I don't have to pay it back. Yeah, there yeah. you go. <laughs> yeah, and it's just, the best of both worlds. That's yeah, how I do don't, it. Don't, guys, don't kill yourself. It's no, not no, no, cool. No. But do go travel and then deal with the burden yeah. of uh, debt. No, or just stay where you travel to and, you know, take up a new name. Yeah. Do you want my middle name? <laughs> If any viewer wants my middle name, DM me. You can yeah. be my kid, okay? It's Mr. Sparky. <laughs> it's Bartholomew the yeah. Third. Uh, but there's been ten of us. I don't really get it. It doesn't change. It's been that for a long time. Uh, it's also yeah. It's not a. I'm not gonna. I can't say it. I mean, there's no point in bringing it up. But it does not flow well with my last name. Uh. Very limiting on what I can give the first name to a, a baby if their middle and last name are already accounted for. Yeah, there's not a lot of things that flow very well off the tongue with it. So, thanks, yeah. Dad. And then, I'm gonna kill myself now that I think about it. Thanks a lot, Dad. The only thing that really gets like a good flow is old timey names like yeah. Edmund and stuff like that. Like usually, yeah. if you're going for something that goes like with a middle name and a last name, and then you end up with kind of like a regal name, which means your kid's gonna get his ass kicked in middle or, school. You know, maybe if. The patrons keep sticking around. I can send him to fancy school where he learns good, and all the other kids have fancy names. Oh yeah, but then they'll like, be um, they'll be like, "Oh, you're only the two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, really? New money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ten generations <laughs> since the colonies, huh? <laughs> you're not pre-colony. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I fucking hate rich kids. Did you ever have your family ever have like a, a shitload of wealth? 
Uh, yeah, unfortunately. I mean, yeah, it's the classic. Every, they, my, my, every, everybody's every, got one of these stories. Yeah, where it's every, like, I it's like on both it. sides of my family, yeah, where it's like they tell me the stories. So I'm like, don't tell me that. Don't tell like don't tell me I grew up in this little shithole and it's like my great my grandma wait no my great grandma my grandpa and like his dad are like coal miners and my great grandma like owned the coal mine and owned a bunch in like Kentucky and stuff and they're just loaded. I've and never heard an coal... accent on you yeah. and then you say yeah. grandma <laughs> like I do not say grandma <laughs> grandma yeah, uh, but oh, I don't have an accent yeah and, no uh, you don't until you say okay, grandma I, yeah okay my gimme and my gaba. <laughs> My god, my godfather and my gumby, they uh, she like married a coal miner and the family disowned her because they're like, no, you can't marry a poor guy. Yeah. And also, there's like, there's someone in my family where it's like, yeah, these people are like, you know, every it's like I don't even know what to believe because everyone's got like our family used to be Scottish royalty or blah blah blah, and there's like in the same family a lady, you know married a person of another race besides white i'm not saying my family from kentucky is historically racist but uh, she was completely excommunicated for marrying, <laughs> marrying a black man so i don't know I, I think it's just coincidence i think he was maybe a profession they didn't like like dog catcher or something yeah and uh yeah basically every drip of family wealth has been squeezed out like two generations before me oh so it because of excommunication like the wealth is still there or uh yeah there we've got a bunch of relatives that branched we, off that we don't ever yeah. speak to yeah that are you're like the, you're the blackest sheep of a black sheep yeah kind of that's rings pretty true for my family as well yeah my oh. my grandfather or actually i'm sorry my great-grandfather was an alcoholic and incredibly abusive. Oh, really? Yeah. In your family? Yeah. <laughs> an incredibly abusive little five foot five alcoholic no. man. And yep. uh, had him a moonshine <laughs> still up in the Appalachians. Yeah, those Appalachian people, they've got something <laughs> fucking up. They've got something yeah. fucked up with them because. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of a lot of stories in my family of like, yeah, and he beat his wife to death and then she killed him and then killed herself. Like. <laughs> yeah. It's like eight stories of people Holy in my family shit. like killing their spouse. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to get married? Who wants to get married? I got that blood in me. So You know what's funny is I saw a map. It was a uh, it was on that subreddit map porn. And it's yeah, man. it's uh basically by county your life expectancy. Yeah. Across the US and <laughs> the Appalachian Mountains are rough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like average 40. of like sixty six years old, which is fucking <laughs> horrible. It's like the same as Yemen. Like it's not uh, good. It's not talk, good. Talked about it on here before too. Oh, like my grandpa, his his dad wait, no, his mom tried to leave his dad and the dad like my great grandpa just shot my great grandma like in the doorway and then killed himself like while my grandpa was home. Jesus. I don't know why he was such a bad person. I don't know if he had any trauma. My grandpa, I don't know why he was so angry all the time in an alcoholic coal miner. I don't know if it has anything to do with that horrible <laughs> homicide, suicide <laughs> that happened in front of him. But actually, I never met him. Huh. I talked about it before, too. He, my older brother met him, and he only referred to my older brother as Pisshead. Mm. And, uh, but, but he was really, I saw a picture of him. He was very handsome. Really? For, uh, for a bad guy, yeah. <laughs> for, He's for a like horrible. A that's the worst, yeah. though, is when you're getting shit on by someone that you're like, oh, that's like ideally like what yeah, I would like to look like. Classically <laughs> handsome, yeah. Like, what if like He's Daniel kind of, Craig looks kind of like John Wayne dressed up as like, yeah, or Sam Elliott in his full yeah. cowboy attire just comes yeah, up to you and a, just shits all over you. Uh, yeah, walks I saw away. a very, very handsome picture of him. They're like, you kind of look like him. I'm like, I wish I was more like him in every way. <laughs> yeah. You also, this is wow. Okay, guys, let's talk about our families. Uh, the reason I believe my mom's been a vegetarian since she's like seven years old is uh, because I've, I've probably talked about this before. They had a, a litter of puppies and a mommy dog. And then a little neighbor girl came over and like was roughhousing the puppies and she got bit by the mom dog. So my grandpa just like, bang, like shot the mom dog and then took all the puppies, put them in a bag and then grabbed the cat because it was there. And just chucked them in a river. And they were like, my mom's like puppies. And it was like, well, this is what happens here in Kentucky, I guess. Like he just he just fucking killed everything. He just went scorched earth. Like, no cat either. That's like cat a comical bad villain. Like, I know. You know what's funny is I'm 
I've been saying I've been reading this book for like a year and a half, but it's hard yeah, to get through. Goddamn, dude, dude, finish his yeah. fucking book. I'm, I, I'm reading the Hobbit. No, <laughs> I'm reading Blood Meridian by Cormac McCarthy, okay. and uh, there is basically almost like a supernatural bad guy that's like you don't like is he even based in reality it's the old west this guy is just yeah. like as cold-blooded as it gets he is as evil as it gets he has no Probably conscience based on my grandpa yeah well <laughs> one of the like one of the moments where you're like wow this is a bad guy is he buys two puppies from a mexican kid and then he brings them over to a bridge and he throws them in the water and tells a guy down river to shoot him with his pistol as like target Jeez. practice He's like, shoot the, shoot the puppies, and he throws them in the river. And your grandpa's like, even more cold blade. He's like, let's round up the cats too, fucking, yeah, burn, fuck fucking like executing yeah. dogs left and right. Well, it's like just a weird like, I don't know. They've tried to justify it before, like the little girl's family is wealthy, and it's like you just, you know, you just can't like people are gonna yeah. get in trouble back then and shit. So no, people just like, thought less of animals back yeah, then. No, that's also it true. Yeah. Also, they're like coal miner farmer people so yeah it's like it's a dog it's like a fucking big rat yeah like, i'm just gonna blow it's it's a tool fucking head off and the tool my, malfunctioned my, <laughs> my mom also has a funny story where then you know my grandma struck gold twice in a row my when he died she married a man that was a pretty cold little farmer man uh now, you know i don't think he ever said he loved me or anything i did know this guy he's shout out grampy and uh he had a farm and my mom was they they had like a tobacco farm and they were like picking off those these weird like big ass worms off the plants and my mom was like hey is there any way like can you get like a big jar so i can like save these because he just wanted he's like grab them like crush them pop their head off my mom's like no i want to like relocate them which is already like whatever you know my mom's just like that with anything and he's like, that's a great idea. I'm, I'll go get you a big bucket. And she, like, all day was filling it with these worms. And he's like, oh, thank you so much. Now, uh, why don't you give me those? I'll go uh, put it in the barn. Like, tomorrow we can take them out to, the, like, the woods or whatever. And she's like, oh, th- in them, yeah, he? yeah, he's like, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for understanding. He just takes them over the pond, dumps them in. The fish have a fucking frenzy going for him. He's like, ah, oh! like, yeah. My mom's like, no, why? No, that's uh, that, yeah. at least they went to feeding something yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, but it, it was just like the way he was like, that's a great idea. Yeah, they, and he just knew the whole time. Like, yeah. it's honestly pretty I, funny. It's but how conniving it was. Yeah, it's really, yeah, and like, yeah, let me I like take this those guy. for you. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. love all my grandpas. <laughs> yeah, they're they're vicious. They're I know vicious. I've told this story before, but my great grandfather, the fucking mean alcoholic guy, he did do something that I thought was kind of funny, and it's the. Well, actually, this might be like a crime of some sort. I don't know if this guy ended up living, but he um he he was uh he was a moonshiner a man to near death. It was sort of something like that. He was uh oh. at a at a moonshine still, and there was like all those moonshine guys. They kind of hung out with each other a little bit, hmm. and uh, there was a poker game that would happen near this river. And my great grandfather shows up to the poker game with a uh, big roll of cash. It's nighttime. They're around a campfire. He has a big roll of cash and he uh, bets with it and immediately loses. And they take the roll of cash and it's what it was is it was a one dollar bill wrapped around a piece of corn cob. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and this big guy jumps him in like the shallows of this river. And my great grandfather just gutted this guy with a fucking knife, just like. Christ, like up his belly and then uh, ran like the dickens <laughs> like, yeah. and like as <laughs> far as i know i don't think that he, <laughs> yeah, he, he did a little did a little fortnight dance emote, on, the, yeah. Yeah, on the shore and then ran uh because he wasn't winning any fight i've seen pictures of this guy he's like he's real small well, he little. brought a knife to it yeah that's cheating yeah and, and what you would expect from a guy and, who wraps a corn cob in <laughs> a dollar like the corn cob dollar wasn't the cheating part yeah this guy was it a was total the, piece of shit and one of those things that ch- oh dude okay so this will this event will have already have happened uh dear listener by the time this airs but doing a poker match uh on a mead stream tomorrow wait no in two days and i really wanted to get one of those like Things you see in movies where like up your sleeve the little mechanics, yeah, yeah and then the have, little like, derringer, yeah, no, but like where it has like aces in it, just oh, have like yeah. cards, like you know, cheat. I want to cheat, yeah, because it's, the stakes are fucking high. It's not for money, but it's for like you have to drink a shot with cum in it, or like you have to drink a who's cum. Oh my god, they're 
there actually is a really fucking insane stream happening today that peanut told me about i don't know if you've heard about it but they're doing they're they're going to a sperm bank on wubby's stream the whole group and they're jerking off in a tent in the middle of the room with everyone around it and seeing who can jerk off the fastest and then they're analyzing their sperm count yeah yeah it's yeah it's basically that, <laughs> yeah, it's that joke, and they're think. doing it on twitch and they like want to show their sperm on twitch and i'm like this is gonna be the end like they're gonna yeah you can't do that that's also the most horrifying like jerking off i don't, I don't think i could do it like if you were just a foot away outside my tent first off i can jerk off in five maybe six seconds so like i'd win but i've got incredibly the, low sperm conditions count, have and they're to be all perfect dead. for me dude yeah. the house has to be empty the door has to be locked but the blinds closed Belt around my throat yeah. i have to be hanging from something yes i'll search 48 minutes for the right video like 50 I, it degrees fahrenheit has to be i have i have a little dyson fan here i put it on three not two two i get a little bit sweaty Three. The fan with the big hole in it? Yep. Can you put your penis in it? Well, yeah, I mean, no. doesn't fit. Well, no. yeah, you could put it in it. There's a little bit of breathing room. <laughs> okay, you know? yeah. But would it feel chilled? It would, yeah. May Doesn't maybe halfway nice. through a sesh when I'm feeling maybe a little friction burn, I might yeah. go air it off. Uh, it's been, what, five, ten seconds? <laughs> okay, let me, get, let me air this off a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Anyway... Yeah, those are streams that will have already happened when you hear this, so they're pointless to bring up. So you guys are welcome for that. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to that. I'm think that's why I'm wearing this outfit. Also, I can't find my from the Patreon exclusive. My I don't know where my striped shirt and beret went, but I'm thinking about wearing this leather jacket. And maybe you know, like classic poker guy with the sunglasses. Oh, you need to get the the reflective '90s ones with the snake eyes. That sounds really badass, but I've got, I don't know if I have enough time. You know what I'm then, talking about? Oh, I do, like, but. The holographic? I'm thinking, about, I'm thinking about wearing shorts. Nice. Uh, which are like, you know, pretty classy. And then these these boots. Uh, just as like a little, a little sex appeal, a little distraction. A yeah. little distraction. Because, you know, just Devin's like going to be there, uh, hurricane provided. Or hurricane willing. Yeah. If, if the hurricane doesn't hit too hard. Like that James Bond movie, the first one with... Um, yeah, I'm going to like the sexy girl. Yeah, but you don't have the sexy girl with me. You have to play both parts. Yeah. If you're I'm just the, sexy I'm kind girl of the bad the boy down. and the sexy yeah. girl, yeah. I'm going to be you're like gonna playing look at footsie Devin, with them. And you're going to be like, hey, look, yeah, look down. <laughs> and he's going to look under the table and be like, whoa! Uh, and I'm going to be holding your, my cards right by my, by my nuts outside my shorts. You should get your legs waxed. You should get oh some my stilettos God. and I get like a nice I should shave my legs. I should put fishnets on. Yeah, that'd be and then um, make sure the camera like there is a wide angle, so it's like leather jacket, mustache, <laughs> your long hair above the above the table below is just oh my god, it's like <laughs> some of highest legs down yeah. there. <laughs> hope, it, hope this doesn't awaken something inside of me. Yeah, when they put that on, I start loving it. I start loving. It. I love the duality. Yeah. Um, uh. That's so vacations. Stuff. Oh yeah, we went this on is vacations. supposed to be like a vacation thing, dude. Yeah, I that's got why some Brian souvenirs. wasn't here. We're gonna tell so many vacations. I got a, since uh, Brian's gonna stick. see this. Pic. What the fuck? I got oh. this stick off the beach. It's really nice. Yeah, that'd make for a great handle. Uh, yeah. Door handle or uh, maybe a door stopper. Yeah. I also, oh, cool. Any, <laughs> I also got else? this rock. <laughs> I got oh. a rock. Yeah. Be well, great for playing stick rock. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have those <laughs> two rocks. things. Uh, minutes of fun, stick rock. Yeah, mi minutes. Yeah. Um, I also got some more stuff here. I got this. Uh, this is a different color rock. Another rock. Yeah. yeah. And smooth. This incredibly smooth. They don't make them smoother than this. For the people just listening, just it just know it's a very smooth rock. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and not to mention small. this one has oh. a little bit of coloration to it. Oh, it's like a little piece of granite. Yeah. Or something. A little. Yeah. This one I actually bought from a store. This one's not from. That's California. Per, this well, is a that's purchase pretty rock. lame. Yeah. But I'm keeping it with the others, and then I'll tell people in the future that I found that rock. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. When enough time passes, they won't even know. I, I'll forget. I, I make yeah, my you'll, own. You'll probably <laughs> genuinely. Yeah, your yeah. memory's so fucked. They'll be like, I found this? <laughs> I found this. This is a nice this. rock <laughs> I found, yeah. Kidace. And then, uh, of course, I do have the uh, Bigfoot nice. carved out of a redwood. Dude, that's I'm telling awesome. you. I was up, by the way, in, uh, for the patrons. Just so you know where your money's going. I was yeah. up uh, near Trinidad, California for my uh, anniversary trip. In a mansion. Yeah. Actually, hold on. I do have a picture of it. It is 
It was not a mansion. It was a fucking treehouse. Very cool. <laughs> treehouse, a treehouse built in oh, the stump God. of a redwood. It was fucking badass. And the shower dude was in the stump of another redwood that had like rotted out. You could just like walk into it, had a shower head and everything all outside. Do you, do you mind badass. if I grab another cup of coffee really quick while do you regale? Because you've already told me about the shower. Yeah, the yeah, house. yeah, go for it. Except for now, you've just run out of those two things. So just keep talking about the shower for like two minutes. <laughs> and what was the toilet like? Oh, the toilet was just a regular toilet. But it could uh, it could handle anything you threw at it. That's what matters. Hold on. I do actually have something else here. You know what I don't get is up there in the beautiful Northern California. I've now gone to Southern California. I've gone to Northern California. Northern's more to my liking, to be honest. Way more beautiful. Uh, and I realized maybe I was a little bit too harsh on Brian's girlfriend. Because uh, one of you narked on me when I said that she was an ice cold bitch. I'm starting to think she isn't an ice cold bitch. I'm starting to think that might just be the culture of like the Pacific Northwest. Because many women had that same icy disposition to them. At least towards me. For whatever reason. But um, yeah, they had Bigfoot signs all over the fucking place. Bigfoot merchandise all over the place. I got a Bigfoot hat. It says Bigfoot lives. Right? They're really stoked about this Bigfoot fella. And I'm actually pretty confident that Bigfoot does not exist. Well, why? Because I just. If the trees are that big, monkeys could be that big. I just spent a week in his, in his hunting grounds and everywhere I looked, there was a little Chinese guy with a fucking brand new Nikon. All right. There would have been pictures by now. There would have been a crisp in focus <laughs> picture. These guys were snapping. They had it on their neck, like on the little lanyard around their neck. They were ready to take a picture of anything at a moment's notice. There would have <sighs> been a photo by now. Yeah, I agree. Or someone would have killed him and skinned him. And we would be able to see him, you know, his bones and everything by now. That's true. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 never, I never get people that want to hunt Bigfoot. Really? But yeah. Like, do you want to. You want to kill him? What do they want to do? Do they just want evidence or do they want to. I don't know. I think some people want to eradicate him. I don't think. <laughs> some people hate him. I don't like that there's a big monkey hanging around the, our, our country. That sounded, <laughs> sounded a little wrong, but they don't like that, yeah. and they want to kill him. I don't know. I, I've i always thought, like, wouldn't it be cool to learn from him, to study him? Uh, you know what? I was up there, beautiful landscape. People kind of suck. Uh, there's not much to learn up there, I don't think. <laughs> what would you have done, though, if out of your shower one day you just saw him, and he was like, like he was outside the window or whatever? Outside would my you shoot stump? Him? <laughs> yeah, would you shoot him? What if he was like, Wind! <laughs> Wind. Uh, <laughs> would you try to have like a kind of an encounter, like a make a memory and dude, learn? That and... would not be an ideal place because let me tell you something. It was like 40 <laughs> degrees and I would be naked out there like ah! yeah, I'd be in the hot water and then I would leave the stump as quickly as possible. And like smoke would be billowing off me because of the temperature difference between my wet body and the cold air. If he stopped me there, I'd probably knife him in the neck and keep going. Like do not stop me in between the tree house and the shower. Try You try to kill. So you're one, you're one of those sons of bitches yeah. that try to kill. Well, him. Under normal conditions, I would definitely just try to communicate. I'd give yeah. a more like, yeah, the water's hot. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, yeah. hop in here. Yeah. Yeah. A Abby's taking a nap. <laughs> yeah. uh, they, you know what? This is one of the few Airbnbs that I've seen that's like provided, you know, like just nice shampoo and conditioner in a lot oh, of yeah, it. Yeah, they normally so suck. There was definitely a Yeti's worth of shampoo there. I could have given them a good uh, hose down, a good like rub down, like I was shampooing like a, a dog. A pretty or woman something. moment. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. well, I didn't notice your eyelashes for so long. <laughs> <laughs> My God, you have beautiful eyes. Uh, dude, I'm not going to lie. Airbnb gets a, I know it's like got some real bad press right now. If you start this conversation yeah, with you've Bizzle, been given a lot of bad press. You guys have been, I'll just get a hotel, but could you get that as a hotel? Is well, what you're that's about to what say. I was about to say, dude. Like, 
Bizzle, if you start Bizzle on a conversation of Airbnb, he will just go full nuclear. The guy fucking hates Airbnb because San Diego has been overran. San Diego, yeah. yeah. I, I understand that. But this place, these people are doing it right. They have a, a bunch of acres and they just like made this private little air. The guy's like Robinson Crusoe. He, he built Palisade Walls. So you have privacy. What is he defending you? the house no. from? Makes you wonder. <laughs> yeah. Well, what there's Bigfoot claw from? marks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's hair stuck hair in the tops stuck of it. stuck in between yeah. the points of the wood and everything. The hell is he? He's no. like, hey, man, if you want to stay here longer, if you want to live here. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was cheap, too. Like, it was not that expensive. <laughs> no, it was pretty expensive. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Yeah. But okay. For a normal, it's probably yeah. very expensive. But. It uh, They just they just built the place. Well, they built it for their kids, and then they renovated oh. it, and they put, like, a nice-ass bathroom in there and, like, you know, cool. an outdoor area with, like, a heater and a little fire pit and stuff. It's very well manicured and everything. But they... uh. We, we asked him, like, hey, do you want us to, like, strip the bed? And so, you know, the usual Airbnb yeah. complaints where they're like, you basically have to scrub the house before you leave. Yeah. These people yeah. are like, no, like, you just rented the place. Just fucking take a shit in the middle of the bed. Walk out. They're like, just <laughs> leave whatever in there. I guess it also helps that it's like 80 square feet. So they even if you if you did something horrible in there, they could clean it yeah. up pretty quick. Yeah. Probably takes like 30 minutes to flip over, clean, get yeah. someone else in there. But they didn't ask, and Something it's on their own else. property. And they, it was like I was talking. Did to you the see owner. their house? Yeah, yeah, they were cool as hell. Their son rolled me like the nicest joint in the world. Bizzle uh. needs to step his game up. This thing was fucking. Pre- I'm, thanks, <laughs> kid. I'm gonna call you new Bizzle. <laughs> yeah, Bizzle too. <laughs> this kid was 19, and he just like uh. he, he was living in a camper in <laughs> in the driveway, <laughs> and he was so fucking. He was so funny. Like, every time we'd roll up, I would see his little head pop out the window. Everybody there surfs, by the way, at which the beach there. I don't have a picture of the beach accessible right now. The beach there is like, I get it. The waves are huge and everything. Perfect for surfing. It just looks like a place where it was like the beach from the lighthouse. Like Mm. you're just going to get thrown into jagged rocks as soon as you like fall off your board. It just didn't look like it was the best. Not like ocean beach. Like no, soft, very little sand. It was mostly just boulders and rocks and seals and stuff. And they're a different breed up there. They live in Bigfoot territory. They know, you know, kind of a different life. Yeah. Yeah. They're We just got a DM. Sorry. Oh, we did. Yeah, we did. (laughs) Look at us, business guys. Look at, we're actually, you know, on stream lately. I've, I've, I've had to in stream twice this week for meetings, and everyone's oh. like, "You don't have meetings." Yeah, <laughs> we I actually do now. Yeah, yeah, I actually have had, and I have a meeting today at four. So Jesus actually, Christ, we got to wrap this thing up. We got no, we got, yeah, we got two story. hours. <laughs> we, uh, we're kind of, dear viewer, dear listener. I wouldn't say in our sellout era. I'd say we're in our business, man. Definitely becoming more like businessmen. And uh, uh, I think it's nothing. become no, a, I, I think money. it's uh, <laughs> become money apparent me. that um, if this fails, we have everywhere to fall. <laughs> like, it, like the the bedrock is pretty far down there, and <laughs> and that looks <laughs> like a pretty lethal rough fall. Probably suicidal, yeah. actually, if we hit yeah, it. So, pro- probably yeah. about fifteen stories up. Probably about. I don't know downtown Indianapolis. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, for me, it's, a lot of it's rooftop bars, basement shotgun, probably. Yeah, <laughs> it's, all like down it's there. dad's gun with a note. Thanks for the gun, dad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you did this. <laughs> Maybe you should have checked in on baby more. <laughs> yeah. God, that would, that's like the worst thing I could do to my family is use that gun to kill myself. <laughs> Definitely, I would be follow. I'd be, I'd be in, you know, probably heaven. Seeing my dad soon after. Mm. Do you use that gun too, Dad? <laughs> no, what would you use? Do, but do you seriously, think, like what? I was gonna say. I, I you told me to watch that Haunting at Hill House show. Oh, that's and a so great I, show. I watched like one and a half episodes on the plane. I I am gonna complete. It's so spooky though. Is the problem? But I was it, thinking about yeah. like supernatural stuff, like ghosts and shit, and. um I was talking with Abby. I was like, do you think this stuff exists? And she's like, oh, maybe, maybe. And I'm just like, so like, absolutely not. I am yeah. so far. Uh, like uh, the stuff that really freaks me out is just humans. Like uh, what yeah, actual I, people I, can do. When I was younger, I was definitely very afraid of like 
And now that I live in a bad part of Indianapolis, I'm like, People. I hear a fucking creak in the leaves in my yard. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Like, I'm very much more afraid of like a man's gonna come and kill me. Yeah. Than like a ghost. Like a, a ghost, I'd just be like, fuck off. Like, <laughs> well, I'm in a creepy basement right now. Yeah. You hear that? I hear a dog. That's my dog. Yeah, my dog's true. barking. And probably a man gonna come fucking kill me. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if I just my head blew up right now after saying that? If I called it. Someone takes a box cutter to your green <laughs> screen. <laughs> That'd actually be a great bit. That this green screen sucks, dude. Yeah. You can very easily just rip through it with your fingers. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. And I'm a ghost. Yeah. yeah, it's a guy that claims he's a ghost. I'd be so whirled off in my head, I'd have no idea what's going on. It'd be great if it doesn't show up on camera because he's a ghost. So oh, just, yeah. Your green screen tears what? a little, and then you just scream and cry yeah. for a little bit and run away. Yeah, my head, my eyes pop out of my head. <laughs> and I turn into Beetlejuice Claymation. But no, Haunting Hill House, honestly, watch it in your house. Don't watch it on a fucking plane. It deserves your attention. Yeah. And I will um. say, without spoilers... It's a show that becomes simultaneously more creepy as it goes on, and you, like, grow to, like, it's a kind of, like, you fear what you don't understand type of deal. Mm. And the more you understand the world and stuff, the more it's like, this isn't creepy, this is just sad. You know the um, the fear of, like, liminal spaces or whatever? Yeah. I actually, I was watching that on a plane, and you say, oh, it doesn't do it justice. There's something ear. pretty eerie about eerie. like mm. we were we were watching it and then I was like oh I gotta use the bathroom and I like I take out my AirPods and everyone's asleep it is the most oh, dead yeah. quiet it's in the middle of the night it's just a dark black plane <laughs> and you just see like silhouettes of people just like just laid up in their seats <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> bent neck <laughs> yeah and I'm just like this is eerie how quiet it, even the stewardess like yeah. wasn't saying a word she was like i'm not waking up any <laughs> 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 her dude i had a, I had a creepy ass steward or what i don't know you call ma male stewardess bitch a guy that should, should had, be in a different profession i had an equally <laughs> fucking creepy dude, one he, well, he on. was like french or some shit and like uh, he was yeah. just like Very he had creepy. like this face that he looked like a uh I've had it. This is uh, maybe a, a deep call for any of you viewers that have ever seen the show Chuck. He looked like Bryce from Chuck, but just creepy and European. And his face didn't change. Like, and I'm I'm telling you, I experienced on my flight back. I told you a little bit about it. I guess I can bring it up to the audience. Like, I experienced some real flight drama. This guy the whole time is just like, like <laughs> not nothing. Nothing's facing him, or he's really good at just being like, I'm freaking the fuck out, but I'm not gonna show it. And listen, if I'm on a plane and I'm by myself, I wasn't by myself, but normally if I'm by myself, like, you know, planes normally have like pilots or flight attendants going to other flights and shit. If there's turbulence, I used to be like horrified of flying a little bit, but now it's like, I'll look at those people. If they're not freaking out, I'm cool. Cause they know what they're doing. Like they, I feel like or if I hear a weird noise and I look at them and they're like, I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck's going on? But normally they're just like, oh fuck, this flight sucks. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, they would know if the noise is weird. I've never heard a stewardess scream before. <laughs> and I heard that on my flight back from France. And that really shook me to my bones a little bit. Cause you know, it's just not something you hear. They're always like cool, calm, and collected. And even during the like, all right, we've got exits here and here, the lady was like doing improv or something. I was already like, something's up with this lady. Cause. She's like, okay, and then we got, uh, what, exits over there? Hopefully we don't got to use those. And, uh, well, over, and uh, she was just, like, riffing a little and, like, trying to joke. And I'm like, you don't do, like, you don't do that. Like, you're supposed to be robotic. Yeah. You're supposed to make me feel calm. Okay, you're freaking me out. She was very nervous feeling. And we find out it's, like, all their, like, first flight or whatever. <laughs> like, it's their first time doing it. And this fucking Michael, this creepy and ghoul. All yeah. The, the and pilots, all the like, are like, never been in the air before. <laughs> and, like, I think that's the big slide. Don't use that. Don't pull on that. And, like, we're, we're taxiing or whatever. Like, the plane is driving. You know, it's in car mode. It's not flying yet. Yeah. But we're driving to take off. And I, two rows behind me are just like, blah, 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 and the stewardess runs over there and it's like, Mom, what the hell just popped up behind you? Is there a kid in your room or something? <laughs> oh man, I, I'm, oh, it's hella <laughs> fucking Bigfoot. What was that? Okay. It's real. Uh, um, 
Wait, well, like, before you carry on, I okay. also got yeah. this this one. Oh, good. Another yeah. smooth little rock. That'd be yeah. great for uh, sucking on so you <laughs> fucking choke. Okay, so shut up now. Uh, this but, one's uh, really thin, though. That would be great for skipping. Yeah. This is good or for, for knifing. Dude, Maybe. something about this chain is like hurting my neck. I don't know. What, I want to sharpen never... this one. Turn it Ow, into a dude. stone knife. I think the like the silver with my wet hair, it's like melding it into my skin. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's how it works. I don't wear chains normally. I just thought it looked pretty gaudy, and I like that. It's a lightning bolt. Anyway, yeah. uh, we're you know we're going. I hear like, bah, bah, and she's like, "Oh my god, Michael, Michael, come over here. Get me wet rag now." And I'm like, "Okay." At this point, like she's just like a little freaked out, whatever. Like someone's throwing up. They're probably I don't know like sick but i'm like oh please god don't stop this plane because we already we have an hour once we we land to our next flight like a very short layover and it's like if we miss it then we're just not gonna be home today and it's gonna fucking blow and then like the lady's throwing up she's like no i'm fine like, bleh, like, like i'm fine and everyone's kind of you know like oh there's some commotion i'm kind of excited at this point like what's going on back there you know i'm a curious little guy and my friend and I are just playing, like, fucking trivia on the old screens. And then, like, we're still driving. And she's like, Michael, get me this. Michael, get me that. The little fucking French ghoul is just creepy as ever. Like, yes, yes. Like, I'll get it. Like, he's like a butler, like, from the Adams family or something. <laughs> Igor. And then, yeah. like, yes. five minutes later, yeah, like, a row behind the lady throwing up, completely separate. We just, you know, hear people like, oh, like, mummering, like, oh, my God, what's that? And she's like, Michael, Michael, get <laughs> fucking like get the like thing and i'm like what the fuck is going on a lady just starts having a seizure right behind the girl throwing up like a separate medical emergency and i get a kind of a bucket list item of the the stewardess being like is anybody here a doctor and i'm like that doesn't normally happen like that's yeah, normally that's just rare. in movies and stuff that's a so, rare like, one i was a little like yes and for i'm not gonna lie for a split second I was you're like, on I a plane lifeguard. dude yeah, you're you're on a plane. You should do that's your catch me if you can moment. Like No, really. They're not gonna verify. Oh, well, hey, well, that's how I was like, how mad would they be if I went over there and they're like, Oh my god, you're a doctor? I'm like, No, but I was a lifeguard ten years ago. I'm not certified anymore. When I was Nothing. A but I can give her CPR uh, and I just start giving her mouth to mouth. Yeah. And like, you know, at this point it starts getting a little grim where it's like, Oh, is that lady gonna die behind us? Cause they're like, Oh, is there a doctor? fat little hero this little guy comes from first class because they have to give an announcement like no one around you know no one in the poor section is a doctor obviously so they give a like is anybody a doctor like no need to panic this little guy with his little glasses completely bald chubby little striped shirt just walks down the aisle so cool and calm from first class and he's like he's already sauced up this. he's he's been yeah. drinking yeah, he's, champagne. Dr <laughs> he's like i'm not a doctor but i know how to give mouth to mouth no, he fucking, I don't know, he, like, helps her out a little or whatever. It, the plane, you know, this is pretty fucked up because I, I was genuinely like, man, I really hope this lady is fine. But also, like, are we going to miss our flight? Like, what's going to happen? Yeah, are they yeah. going to have to land? Takes, like, 30, 40 minutes, like, a bunch of EMTs come on the plane. I'm like, that's cool. You know, I've never seen that. They wheel her off. Lady does not look good. She looked kind of like a, kind of like a ghost. Like, she was just like... Uh, and they we, they had to like get her in a little chair and wheel her off. I'm pretty sure she's fine though now. Yeah. But two separate. What's that noise, dude? It's all this like, talk of ghosts, man. You're no, <laughs> I be I don't believe in them. <laughs> but uh, two separate medical emergencies, same flight. I thought that was you know very cool. And then we get to fucking, you know, when you come in the country, you have to go through customs. You have to re get your bags. Blah, blah, blah. Another, not really bucket list moment, but something that I've never had to do, like dead sprint through the airport. And by the time we get to the terminal, they're like, any last ticketers? And like, we were like, oh. <laughs> and then we get on the plane, just sweaty, stinky, gross. And I, I always sit by the one fucking guy on a plane that likes to talk. And he's like, hey, what's going on? Like, how are you guys doing? Like, you do? And I'm like, <gasps> and he's like, so, uh, you guys know anything about Kentucky? I'm like, dude, Jesus Christ. Really nice guy, but he talked like the entire flight. That's me. And I, and I, dude, I fucking hate I'm like, hey, man, like, I'm just going like, to I'm gonna watch Scooby-Doo. He just like sits I there and watches Scooby it off my screen. Yeah, yeah I fucking love Dude, I had a, on the flight to TwitchCon, I had this old guy. I sat next to him. 
And he was just talking my ear off about like, yeah, I actually go to college to college and I try to convert people to Christian. I'm like, cool, man. This guy's so fucking weird. They all, you know, they go around headphones. He's like, no, I don't need them. Plays a video out loud on his laptop and just holds it up to his ear. I'm like, just take the fucking headphones. Like, what are you doing? And at one point, he just, he gets the sun chips. I get it. I get the sun chips too. I love them. He somehow, I don't even know how it's possible. He spills the entire crumb bomb of sun chips on my lap. And then he's trying to wipe them off my lap, like touching my dick and legs. And I'm like, dude, like, I've got it. And I'm trying to, I'm like, this guy's already pissed me off to the point of like. Were you idle? No, oh, I was window. <laughs> and he's next to me. Oh, okay, the only conceivable spoke. way was, remember those goddamn uh, plain cookies that Abby oh, gets? Yeah. I love those things, the biscottis or whatever. I ate uh, some of those, and I, those, I was yeah. an animal. I got crumbs everywhere, but then I put them in my little thing. When I went to go pass it to, like, put in oh, the trash still, bag, yeah. I made it rain on this lady. Like, hair, uh, lap, uh, God, everywhere. Easy. At least you didn't get it. If you got it in my hair, I would have started swinging. This lady but was I, like, what the fuck? Because it was just, like, termite dust falling down on her. But I didn't try to straighten her out or anything. Yeah, I was like, yeah. just let me do it. Like, don't touch my legs and dick area. Like, what the? And he's so neurotic. Yeah, good. That's a good one. I like that. Yeah, this is a piece of driftwood I found. Yeah, you yeah. should suck on it. And uh, salty. I'm good. I I was watching when Harry met Sally. He fuck. He, I, you know, I'm watching my movie. He like taps on me. Yeah. Uh, what's her name again? What's that actress's name? I'm like. Fuck. It took me a minute. I'm like, Meg Ryan? Meg Ryan! Yeah, that's it. He's like, where is she? Where's she been? I'm like, dude, oh, what the fuck? Like, I'm watching a movie. I have no idea where Meg Ryan's been. I don't know if something about me comes off as like approachable, which normally I try to be, and yeah. I like talking to people. It's like, I'm watching a movie here. I'm watching When Harry Met Sally for the first time, and I'm engrossed. How'd you like it? I didn't get through it because I had to talk to this guy like fucking 15 times during it. You know what you should have watched? Going to France, you should have watched French Kiss. It's another, I think oh, it's a Meg you know Ryan I, rom-com. Very I good. I did watch the new Top Gun on a plane. That felt good. Feeling the, I was almost like praying for turbulence. Yeah. Like, when it, there'd be like an air fight and like we'd get a little shaky. I was like, that's pretty cool. And I watched Bullet Train on a train in France also felt pretty fitting. Oh, no, I like, you know, it's a, a level of emerge, immersion you can't normally hit. I watched All Quiet on the Western Front on a plane. No, so no immersion. Yeah, yeah, no, no immersion. immersion. <laughs> this is like the West a little. Yeah. yeah no. Oh, wait, really. no, it's like a, it's not a Western. It's a World is War One movie. Yeah, on the Western Front. Yeah, it's a yeah. cowboy movie, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, why do they say Western then? No, it's a, it's a pretty good movie, though. Pretty good. Dude, yeah. Fuck, hold on. This... Dude, this shit is, I can't get it off. It's, it's like burning my neck. I don't, I don't think you're this having is a silver. bad reaction. Have you seen the, yeah. have you seen those people that have such a pH level to their body that if they put on certain like non pure, um, jewelry, it has and to be stuff, pure if it's going to touch me. Yeah. It'll Actually, like, it might be it'll the leather corrode. jacket now that I think about it, it on my be. wet neck, the leather <laughs> rubbing against my neck. I think so. It's doing it. Put the chain oh, back on. Yes, put the chain. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. Let's try. Let's try hair shoulders. up, chain down, <laughs> jacket off. Now let me. Yeah, I mean, if you put a piece of silver in my pussy, that would probably corrode. But uh, oh, yo, can I go get a beverage? Yeah, I, sure. I went through my two Lacroix pretty quick. Yeah. Oh shit! I forgot that my hat is over my head. Uh, <laughs> you have to take it off. Sweaty. Um. So. Dear viewer, Stalt, leave this in. While Sam's gone, doing a sponsored stream soon, come on in. Click the download link. Uh, it's it's going to be for a Chrome extension. Come on in there. Click the link. Help, help me hit my goals, please. If I can effortlessly put this back on. No, that didn't I didn't work. even say anything while you were gone. I just sat and waited. Uh, wait. Um, Shit. I want to. Yeah, I want to make a quick... movies. Oh wait. Oh, okay, go on. No. Oh no. I was let's just let's say... get into the movie category. No, no. It's, it's not. It wasn't that. And then it after that, just... we'll hit porn. This hit, little go. circle orb thing behind me was taken in a place called uh, Fern Valley, and it's kind of like a gorge uh, near Oregon up there, and um, it was where they filmed a big Finn. scene from. 
<coughs> Jurassic Park 2. Oh, every one with everyone that like I came across was like, "Have you been to the Jurassic Park 2 place?" <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "What?" They were like, "Fern Valley, you need to go there. It's our big claim to fame. Jurassic Park 2, one scene shot there in that little gorge. Very beautiful Which scene." It's a scene where they're running through a bunch of ferns and there's dinosaurs chasing them. Oh, it's <laughs> yeah. my favorite scene in Jurassic Park 2. It's so minor and they're like this is huge for us. Like this is the tourism is booming <laughs> yeah. after that, yeah. People need you have to drive for such a long time over a road that's not been maintained. It's been washed out by creeks multiple times. And Jurassic you- Park 2, the one with Vince Vaughn or no? Which one's that? Is that like the third? what what was what? they had like a random they had a random one because, like, the first one was incredible, and then the third one was incredible. Maybe it was the second one too. Is incredible. I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I'm I wrong. Remember, Maybe there. I think the third one is the one that always got me. The one with the Spinosaurus. I was gonna say it's the little kids that get attacked by the tiny little raptors and killed in the beginning. Oh, and it God. felt horrible. Yeah. Yo, by the way, you, you were you were saying that oh. like Sam doesn't have any feelings or whatever. We talked about this movie one time. I, I, I just thought about it randomly. I was like, oh, I need to get my daughter into the Iron Giant because I love that movie. Oh, my God. Haven't seen it a... since I was a kid. Tears at the end of that movie. When he when he sacrifices himself. Superman. For that, yeah, I am Superman. Yeah, that movie's badass. Yeah, and that is once again, one of the best fucking movies, honestly. Uh, I think you were the one that watched it as a kid and they had like shortened it for tv audiences or something and they cut off the ending where he puts himself together so you uh, just so you just I don't thought think th- or was it bizzle Wait, yeah i think that was bizzle yeah bizzle was like i watched it on like made for yeah, tv yeah you just thought it was and it the, he just blows just up and they just go like wow <laughs> and then it, he's like that's the end he doesn't get the bolt or anything and the bolt doesn't put itself yeah, back like- together Wow, that's the darkest kids movie ever. <laughs> Without really that one scene, themes, yeah, yeah, it's pretty dark. I like a happy ending in movies. Call me a sucker. Call me a baby. Call me a child. Um, yeah, don't I watch like it when. Don't watch that old Quiet on the Western Front. Oh. That's just, believe it or not, a World War One movie. Not, um, not happy. Yeah, it's a pretty grim experience. I wish my great grandpa was still alive so I could show him that movie. He was, a, or what did that be? Great, great grandpa? I don't know. When was that? Like 200 years ago? Yeah, World I think it was like one. 1776. That's what everybody's having flags about. Okay. Yeah, World yeah. yeah. The Great War. The French did a lot in that war. Yeah, they did. C'est la vie. Um, man, I love the French and I love France. How was it's, the food out there, by the way? That's like, because I'm kind of like incredible. caught up in the middle of. I feel like the French get way too much credit for their culinary skills when I feel like everybody really just likes Italian food. Um, but, like, the French, is it, like, what was their, just give me I mean, boiler I plate like a, average meal for, okay. for, from breakfast, lunch, keep then dinner. Keep in mind, I'm, like, in, like, a small village in no, the No, that's South. what like, I want. I wasn't in Paris. I don't want, yeah, like, a metropolitan. Like, wake up. I want the a, real thing. Cut a baguette. Mm-hmm. Put I'd put goat cheese on it. Ooh. I put a little bit of jam on it, mm-hmm. and I put a little bit of like uh, thinly sliced ham or something in it. Yeah. That was breakfast like every day and a coffee. And then we go to town. Kind what of kind coffee? The, how, how good was their coffee? Pretty good. I mean, the, I love my, I love everywhere you go. At any time of the day, they're like, "You want a cappuccino after your meal or before it?" Ugh. And when they give you a cappuccino, they just give you a little cappuccino, a little sugar, and then they give you a little treat. They give you a little treat to dunk in it. I think that might just be like a more like it's probably not just a French. Someone's gonna be like that. They do that everywhere, asshole. But it's like different. Like we went to the same place multiple times to be a different little treat, like a little biscuit, yeah. a little chocolate. So I think you can just dip in your cappuccino. It's more fun. It's like I a fidget that. spinner for fat people. It's like a little just a little something to dunk. Just a little something yeah, to do. Kind of, yeah. yeah, like a fidget spinner for fat people. <laughs> Uh, well, fidget spinner can be a good workout already. I didn't, okay, I didn't want shit. it, but it's here. Yeah, and I'll no, eat I loved. It. I, lo- <laughs> yeah. I lo- always loved that little treat they added, and I had the best. I had this thing called like Tears of a Tiger at some place. A lot of restaurants in yeah, the that villages. Sounds real uh, yeah. classically French. Yeah, I didn't Tears eat a lot of, of classically French stuff. I mean, there's people just make all sorts of shit there, and mm. like you know, there's a lot of like duck and rabbit and shit like that that I, you know, I don't know French eat a lot. I didn't eat like frog leg or. Escargot or anything. You didn't try the classics? You didn't try the 
No, I wanted to meal I'd like, and I was pretty sure I wouldn't like escargot. I did. I did Frog have like legs. the best. Seems I, like it would be I, good. I had some sort of like clam or something at one place. That was the most buttery, delicious thing I've ever had. And I had the. This is like you wouldn't expect. Like, oh, you went there and I had the best. The one night we were in Paris, I had the best sushi in my entire life, and it was at like a sushi place. It was not like a French, or, you know. But apparently, like, we just walked in, like, seven people, no wait, nothing. It's like a Michelin star restaurant. And thank God, like, at any of the big meals, the people we were there with paid for it because I would have just been completely fucked. Like, there's one, there's a couple times where I'm like, I got, like, they're like, oh, I got the bill. No, I got the bill. And I'd be like, I got the bill. Like, just to, you know, be courteous. But I'm like, yeah. please fucking don't. Fuck, yeah. yeah. This was and a my, courtesy speak up, not an actual yeah, yeah. speak my, up. My friend and I, like, the only time we, I'd be like, I got it. It's like we just had cappuccinos. And they're like, oh, thank you so much. I'm like, no, no, please. And <laughs> yeah. don't forget that little treat you got with your cap. I paid for that, too. But then, yeah, any restaurant, I'd be like, yeah, I can help too if you want. <laughs> I'm like, I can help with the tip. And then I like, see the total. I'm like, nah. nah. <laughs> um, 20% of that, it. I'm good. Well, see, the thing is they're like tipping's like 5%. Or so it's like oh. built in. And like they don't. So everywhere we'd still tip wow, they 20%. they pay them wages? Yeah. And the waiters would be like. Commies. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Socialist commies. They The waiters would be like, damn. Like, <laughs> god damn. Like, thanks. This one guy's like, oh, these are Americans. That's why they're all so rich. Like, 20%. Like, what the fuck? Like, he'd even be like, you don't have to. Like, here, you don't have to do that. Yeah. Like, whatever. Well, we are like the rich people I was with. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, was, I wasn't I was really paying for a lot. Thanks, patrons. Uh. <laughs> all I had to pay for was my ticket. And even that almost fucking killed me because they're rich it was old right people. right after San Diego and everything, too. Right yeah. after San Diego. And they they're the kind of old people that book their trips through a travel agent so i had to pay like travel agent prices for like when i looked it up on google flights it was like a thousand dollars cheaper if i had paid for it and the, like, i don't just get travel agents the, dude like google is there like me and I abby spent like, an hour and a half know. it seems like it take longer to just get a travel agent it's just like the way they do shit i don't know they're just like held on to the past they're like i yeah. need some other person to tell me <laughs> You know, That's travel like, agents are like, dude, our days are numbered, and I'm yeah. so glad there's like 70 yeah. year olds out there that yeah. want to go when traveling. They, when, this, when that generation dies, they are fucked. Like, yeah. what? Who would ever use a travel agent that's like 20, you know? Like, I don't get it. Unless it's just a rich people thing. I don't know. I don't know what it makes better. Like, um, it, it made everything more expensive. I, I feel say. like they just get you into touristy stuff, like tours and stuff like that. But see, we didn't, we just landed yeah, and then we took a train it. to the south. And then we're like, okay, listen, if my friend whose family took me to this trip listens to this, I love you. I had the best time of my life. Love your family. I cannot be around, like, people that rich for that long, I don't think, again. Because just the way of life's different and the things they complain about. It's oh, real like, first world problem. Yeah, you think, listen, patrons, you think we you think we talk about our richness and our, you know, our trips and stuff. And it's like the lamest complaints and they fucking it, it, the most dramatic. Yeah, the most dramatic thing I had ever heard in my life. One night in the living room, we left out a little bit of cheese on a plate. We left out a scrabble board and a pair of shoes like. It's like, you know, we were a little fucking cartoon mouse or something. We just left out little treats and little things. And the next day, the, like, grandmother is there and her friends. And one of the friends goes down the stairs and sees it. And it's like, grandmother, don't look. It's trash. Like, it looks like they had a party in there or something. <laughs> and it's like a scrabble board, a pair of shoes, and a little plate with cheese. And she said, grandmother, don't look. And I was like... Oh my god, like what the, and they're so passive and they're like, Oh, so you guys had a party last night, huh? And like all this stuff and like just chewed out my friend basically for this and Yeah. Like An when license soiree. Yeah, like well, mm, Scrabble. What is, what is Scrabble, huh? <laughs> this late at night? <laughs> what are you partying? <laughs> what are you what are you spelling words like mirth? <laughs> like it was just it was just like what what the fuck are you bitching about? And she was like, at one point, the stepmom of my friend was like, yeah, old people love to complain about the glass pyramid in front of the Louvre or the, uh, there's some. Why would they complain there. about that? 
listen, well, and there's some art museum with like tubes coming out of it. Someone in the chat, you know, someone more. <laughs> I didn't learn anything when I was there. It's like yeah. some tube museum. It looks like a building and like turned inside out. She was like, old people really hate that shit. And I was like, I bet it's not that bad. The grandmother the next day was like, I literally saw her clutch her pearl necklace. It was like, my, it's the most dreadful building <laughs> I've ever seen. Like, it's absolutely awful. And they're the type of old people where they have to be like, and I saw this, this African fellow was out there dancing and like, then this Japanese woman, I'm like, what does this have to do with the fucking story? Like, where are you going with this? And they're like, oh, but they were lovely people, lovely people. <laughs> but this black man, I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, what is good? They're just like it's weird a, it's old. It's a good descriptor. That's what it yeah. is. Oh, yeah. now I know who you're talking about. The <laughs> yeah. person I never saw that I have no, <laughs> no context besides their their race. Okay, thank you for that awesome yeah. story, grandmother. This one's got speckles in it, by the way. How many fucking rocks did you get? <laughs> I like that one. Though. Up. I'm going to call that cow rock. Yeah, this, I'm going to write that down on the back. I'm going to etch it into the back. Poop yeah, calls yeah. this one cow rock. <laughs> it doesn't really look like a cow. There's also cow. There's a cow farm right by the place we stayed. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Cut that out. Cut that, Cut that out. out. Cut that out. Yeah. I can't say your name, even though I've talked about the blank boys and their weird um, cow farming and... On the know. on the contrary flip to drag ourselves back across the Atlantic, if you guys want to go to a treehouse, <laughs> feel free to look this place up. You know, but you don't go follow, to this house I was at. You can follow in my footsteps, but do not follow in poops. I think their family like owns the house, so don't go oh, there. Yeah, and you can't stay there, and you can't oh play God, Scrabble because the, that the, fucking the, drives them up the wall. Don't fucking <laughs> spell dumb words like fart and shinning. <laughs> I, dude, they would not let me get away with the word anal feel. It would have been. A, I would have got a hundred and ten <laughs> points. They were so look, adamant. It's I not a word. I <laughs> was anal feel, not a word. <laughs> I, it's, it's insane. Sensation. And dude, they, they had a, these a single word sensation. <laughs> anal feel. They had this. Oh, that looks sweet. They had this. These innkeepers there, or like they just they're like live on site people. Yeah. That uh, they're like straight out of fucking Wallace and Gromit. They're British, <laughs> and they like they somehow felt claymation like that. Yeah. And they they just they the the guy. I want to get like the old guy one day. He had mastered the art of like, <clears throat> he comes, he talks for like, you know, four sentences. He comes, and then he said, "I you laughed at that." And then he he says a joke and leaves, and the joke always lands, and he always leaves as soon as it's delivered, and it's like the perfect like exit to any conversation. Like when he's done, oh, talking, he's like Norm from Cheers. He just walks he, like, in, he just says has a like one -liner. an awesome quip, yeah. and yeah. it always lands. It was great. I loved having those guys around, except for one night. What sucks friend... is though, once you set a precedent for that, you got to keep it going. Yeah. No, yeah. I know. It's a lot yeah. of pressure. It is a lot it's of a pressure. It's a lot of pressure. And they, they, God, even they complained, like rich people. Like, we, you know, we asked for a couple things. Like, oh, can we get some more towels? And they were like, you got, like, they were claiming that we were, like, driving them insane, which I thought was, okay, this is now I'm the elite. Yeah. I was like, this is a little weird that they're so mad that you guys are asking for stuff because you hired them to work for you, and they're, like, pissed that you're asking for stuff. And my friend one night clogged the toilet, like, bad. My se same friend that fucking clogged my toilet and brought shit water down into my room. <laughs> like, he's got a problem. That's like, the same he should go guy? To the yeah, it's same, the same fucking, fucking guy. guy? Jesus. Same fucking guy. He clogs the toilet, and he's, like, horrified. He's super embarrassed because, they're you know, around all these fancy people. It's his girlfriend's family. And he's trying to keep on the DL. Like, he asks the dad, like, I need help. Like, he breaks the plunger. <laughs> he probably you would hate when I'm telling this story because he was mortified. As he's trying to plunge, the plunger snaps, and he shoots it too deep, and he gets poop water <laughs> in his face and in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so he had to take a shower. And it's wild dinner, and everyone downstairs is like, where is he? Where, like, where is he at? Is he okay? And I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> He had to take a full shower because he got poop water all over him. <laughs> and he's clogged the toilet so and, bad and that it's, like, breaking. It, bro, it was, like, just the cup stuck under the water. Like the I, I don't know. Shower. I didn't go out there. Yeah, like, no one there apparently ever clogs the toilet. Like, it was a really flimsy. It was a wooden <laughs> handle that, like, snapped. Like, he had to really get in there. That would be great if he impaled himself. <laughs> he yeah. goes, like, ah! Oh! He's gently going there. He's dead <laughs> over the toilet. It's through his back. <laughs> 
poop dude, water in his face. His chest, yeah, face yeah. covered in shit. Oh. Dude, yeah, and, and like it was funny. Like he he acted like it was the end of the goddamn world, and we had to get the the British woman to come help. And I thought they were. I thought everyone thought it was funny because he's trying to keep it on the real DL, like nothing. And they're talking at the front door, like ten feet away from the dinner table where all the old people are gathered. And the British woman's just like, you what? Like, you got poop water everywhere. <laughs> and, like, you clogged the bloody toilet. And I'm like, Pfft. like, you what? And I walk over there, and I'm, like, cracking up. I'm like, you did what? Oh, my God. And she's like, it's not funny. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm like, I'm always going to laugh yeah, at that. Yeah, I'm always going to laugh at that. The most horrible thing could happen. And now you got to at least try to find some humor in it. And she was, like, genuinely really mad yeah. and it got in like a screaming fit with the family that like like i don't want to say owns her but you know yeah. hired her yeah. <laughs> what do you call that when you hired it? they were employees or a, you know, own, own, yeah own them yeah. and it was like turned into this huge huge ordeal and it kind of kicked off because i laughed because i just thought ever i thought anyone would think that's funny yeah, they got poop water funny. in his mouth and in his eyes and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's his own poop. Like, it's gross, but it could be worse. And, yeah, he was just, like, the rest of the night, like, oh, man, like, I'm so fucked. Like, dude, come fucking cheer up a little. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's hilarious. Like, it's a very funny ordeal. I, it sucks, anyway. though. It kind of sucks that you went to such a cool place with no offense. Like, it, it sucks going to a place that is that cool with, like, old people that kind of yeah. make it suck. like in like her parents are cool and like the grandparents friends were cool but it's like everyone had this air of like everything's fine and then it can just fucking flip and it's like everyone just needs to take a goddamn chill pill yeah. like we're in the most beautiful place i've ever been in my life and people are getting upset about like a scrabble board like just relax you know yeah, chill but also i was a guest here so i had to be like i was constantly on like my best behavior and it's still like i'd fuck up about like i laughed i laughed and that was like a bad thing i did or like i didn't clean up after I would have my been friend fucking crucified there probably hey, yeah, no you yeah, would have I, been the worst person to have i don't be, have like social tact and they put me in this little it's like a 300 year old home i was in this little they called it the troglodyte room because uh, there's big troglodyte culture there. It felt like a little cave, and the furnace was in there. goddamn 100 degrees every night. It was awful. Thanks for having me. It was horrible, this room. <laughs> You're not, you know, I, I, they rubbed off on me a little bit. This beautiful library that they put me in. A half floor. That's a good one. This one's got, it's got a little belly button. Yeah, it's got little pock marks in it. This one's cool. I had to go down into a hovel, like, 100 yards from the nearest person and live out these... And also, they keep talking about, yeah, troglodytes. This is a famous troglodyte country. I'm the only person on the first floor with windows that just push open. I'm like, if a troglodyte came here, where are they going to go? Up in a, up in the sky where they don't like it? Or in the cave room where it feels like home? They got home court advantage, and I'm assuming night vision. So I was worried, really worried about trogs and shit like that most of the time. Are, aren't troglodytes, aren't, aren't they just like proto-humans? The cave dwellers, yeah, hermits. Cave, cave people, you would think yeah. that they'd stick to their cave. No, not, I, w I was thinking, like, why would why would you immediately assume they would attack you? Why wouldn't they think, oh, troglodyte cave? I'm a troglodyte. This is surely uh, a like minded man. You might find yourself a companion of sorts because of my womanly screams and my shaking and <laughs> maybe, everything. They, maybe, I just come off as an easy target to a trog. Well, well you know that you might find yourself a trog lover. I just something. watched The Descent again recently. <laughs> Bad idea. So yeah. I was thinking more of Descent drugs. <laughs> oh, okay. Where they're like, they're went, coming to eat me. <laughs> you wouldn't dick down one of those Descent ladies? Not the climbers, but I'm talking okay. about the cave I was people. Say the climbers? Yeah. Any one of them. The cave people, a couple. There's a couple of them. <laughs> a couple <laughs> a couple of them. Of, if it's dark. Yeah. It's dark. They're slimy like a real woman. <laughs> you know, I've had sex with a real woman before. They're like slimy and cold. I noticed all the like female a, like descent crawler people all had like little a cups. I think it'd be funny if one had like some real big saggers that were like constantly getting you caught got the on night rocks. Night camera, and you're like, whoa, wait, hold on, what the? Hell? Let me look at that a little closer. <laughs> Zoom in. You get their tits Damn. stuck in between the rocks and the wall. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> whoa, hold on. Uh, it's got like a beautiful hair. <laughs> She got her nails done. 
<laughs> French tips on her little <laughs> gross fingers. <laughs> Damn! What the, what the hell's going on here, dude? We should go yeah. caving. Uh, no. Yeah, we should. I just watched the descent recently. <laughs> no, not a goddamn. Okay, a, I've a been marked cave. cave. It scared mar- the fuck out of me. A marked cave and one that's yeah, not even difficult. Marked cave is very scary. Yeah, we should still do it. <laughs> no, yeah. I really am never gonna go splunking again. No, I've done it. I, I've, I've been. In, I've been caving like, like a, twice. I'm like a safe like person a, to go caving with. Get stuck. <laughs> I would. <laughs> that was honestly when the first time I went. I would just put my fear. head in and then just start screaming. I would be one of those people that gets cabin fever or whatever, like four feet uh, into a cave. I, I've talked about this definitely on a podcast, but like I used to have a fear of like when I go in inner tubes at like Chuck E. Cheese and stuff. A fat, I'm not fat phobic or anything. A fat freak getting stuck in front of me in the tube, and then yeah. a fatty getting stuck behind me, yeah. and then I'm just like, oh yeah, you're stuck. And in when there. I went caving. This fucking, there, there was this big room where we we're going to, and they're like, okay, you can either go up the easy way or you can crawl through this little passage. My friend and I are like, let's go through the passage. It'll be fun. Hey, Fatty McGee wants to go through the passage too. Whatever. I'm all for fat people having fun. Chill on this. Guy gets stuck right in front of me and starts oh. squealing like a fucking pig. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, ah, ah! And I'm like, what the fuck? Now I got to back up crawl, which uh, you don't ever want to do. Yeah. And also the whole time, like we're doing it, all the older kids are like, yeah, a woman crawled in here 20 years ago and lost <laughs> all her hair. And like, she's a ghost and she's an alien and she's a Bigfoot. And like, they're just trying to freak us the fuck out. And we go through one cave where it's like holes and all the ceiling, like little tunnels everywhere. And then like a pool at the end of it where it's like, you can swim in the dark. I'm like, I'm not getting anywhere fucking. Yeah, I hadn't even heard of the movie The Descent yet, but it was just straight out of The Descent. And like, they're they're like, yeah, there's a freaky crawly in here that like kills kids. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, I'm like 10 years old. Like, I believe this shit. Like, uh, uh, sure, yeah, I can see a lady living in there. I just had a flashback. I'm not gonna go again. Randomly, of like when you were talking about the fat kid getting oh, it stuck wasn't in front random. of you. No, no, it was it was primed. You primed me yeah, into it. Yeah, it, it was a uh, th- this was some sort of museum or something on a vacation. They had um not a museum. What were those like the interactive kids museums where they're like yeah, yeah, yeah. there's some like here stand near this and whisper into it across the room you oh, can hear it at fun, the yeah. other dish thing that kind of place. But yeah. there was a uh, it was a blind obstacle course where you would go into a blackout room that yeah. had like Willy Wonka floors and stuff. And you had to like navigate just by feel and like all the walls were carpeted and smell. And I remember like you would go in and they would, they mm. would mark like the amount of kids that went in there. They would be like, you know, there's five in there now and we'll wait until five gets out before we let another one in. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I went in there and I'm sitting there feeling my way around. And I guess from the top down, like you, you kind of duck in and then you go up an incline and you climb over some stuff and then, you end up having to like find your way and there's like little shelves that you could get up on if you wanted to that were carpeted, but they didn't actually progress the way you should go. Yeah. And as I was feeling my way around, like halfway through this, I just came across a kid that was coiled up like he was just in the fetal position <laughs> and i've never been more terrified because i'm just feeling carpet carpet can't feel thing and then all of a sudden leg and i'm like holy shit and i can hear the kid just like hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> he scratched you across the face <laughs> just i thought i was fucking alone in there and all of a sudden there's a straggler that hadn't progressed he just gave Are you up my daddy yeah. like, what the fuck <laughs> He completely gave up. God, I wish oh, I had a flashlight kid. just so I could see him. Yeah. But no, I, I was like, <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm trying to find my way out. We ended yeah. up coming out together, but it, that it was just so quiet in there, and then <laughs> just feeling someone yeah, that's, just that's sit scary me for a, as hell. Yeah. That kid probably hates caving and stuff. <laughs> that sounds traumatic for him. Mm. Probably afraid of the dark, little pussy. Oh, Why I not? found out this trip that Abby is terrified of heights. Oh, so you're in this treehouse. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're in the up, are we? I keep I keep going to like these cli- like the North California coast is nothing but bluffs and and rock faces and stuff, and I'm like climbing all over these boulders and cliff edges, and she's just like, "Holy shit!" Like she's like twenty feet away from any sort of view, and she's like, "I can see it fine from here." I'm like, "No, you can't. You need to get up to the edge somewhat." 
But she wouldn't. Such a baby. Yeah, she was kind of a baby. In order to get any sort of picture with like the any like a cliff edge behind me, she basically wanted like something attached to her foot. So in case she fell, like she would be dangling. Like tie me up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> tie my ankle down somehow. Put the backpack around it so it's like an anchor. Carabiners. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, staking in oh man oh the uh by the way we were talking about food earlier yeah i i've been to bar harbor maine and i've had like that's the place to get clam chowder i feel like the best bowl of clam chowder i've ever Mm -hmm. had was in trinidad in a bread bowl and i panera (laughs) no not at a panera it was just at some i don't know some fucking restaurant but uh there was no seats available so i was like at the bar and Aqua tweeted about someone remarking how he was eating something like an animal. And I, it, this had just happened on this vacation. I got high as shit and then went and ate this. Uh, have, you, have you ever had clam chowder where they'll put it in a bread bowl, like a sourdough bread bowl? Never had clam chowder before. What? That stuff's yeah. awesome. But they served it to me in a, a loaf of bread with the top cut out. Yeah, and the, like the clam ch- Yeah, like Panera, basically. And uh, they make all their own bread and stuff, unlike Panera. I like I don't, Panera. Yeah. I don't think Panera does. I feel like that shit gets shipped in. They're a breadery, but go on. Okay. Anyways. I, I fucking love Panera. Okay, you? Sorry, go on. I fucking I hate Panera. I used to. Yeah. I, I haven't eaten it in a while. <laughs> I, so I was at the bar, which is like center stage of a diner, just going animal mode on this <laughs> yeah, <just> thing. <laughs> Tearing. Uh, <laughs> I ate the whole bowl, the fucking Jesus clam Jesus Christ. <laughs> I had my elbows uh, in there, dude. I was fucking <laughs> eating. And Abby was just like, holy shit. <laughs> Why Calm. don't you eat pussy like that? Yeah. Calm down, dude. <laughs> like, I was just like, <laughs> and I was like, there was moments where I'd just sit there and just go like, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> gotta catch like a little, my breath. Like a toddler yeah. eating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, dude, some of the food up there was awesome, uh, dude, I, but they really environmentally friendly. So there was a lot of places that were like, oh, did you bring your own coffee cup? Because <laughs> nope. we don't give you anything to unless you oh. eat here, you have to bring a coffee cup. Oh, weird. Or, or like Tupperware, because they're not going to give you like a plate or anything to go. They, there's no to go shit. Yeah. I'm sure it's not a killer. Oh, dude. Or a you, drug. Remember the whole like homeless people situation in Southern uh, California and San Diego? Yeah. Dude. What do you I, mean situation? Like they were just vibing. Like it was a different type oh. of homelessness. Like it was, yeah. it was a lifestyle I mean, that I was yeah. like, I could be homeless here. Like that seems kind of, yeah. yeah. I mean, they got nice. the little beach, they yeah. got dog park. There was a homeless camp that I found on the beach of Trinidad that was so fucking nice. I was like jealous. I was like, dude, I pay a mortgage and this guy's just living here on the beach. Yeah, no food, no water. <laughs> this guy's got it all. No kids. <laughs> He's got it all, man. No, it was just like the most picturesque beach I've ever seen. And then he has this tree that is like completely made like a cave like kind of dome over him. And then he has a little fire pit under there. He's like a troglodyte. Yeah, he had a little cave. I would right have been there scared the shitless if I saw a guy living in a cave after what I experienced in no, France. This guy was the most, like, he was just, I, I like wandered but in he's there. He was playing a little banjo or something, too. I mean, <laughs> he was just so lounged. I've never seen someone so carefree in my life. Uh, yeah. water. <laughs> he was lounged. <laughs> the two most comfortable people I've seen in the past two weeks is that guy. And then in the Dallas Fort Worth uh, airport, I went into the bathroom and three stalls in a row. I went into the first one. There was so much shit in the toilet. It was mounded out of the water. Second stall I went to so much shit. It was mounted out of the water. And the third stall I went into so much shit. It was mounted out of the water. And I turn around and look and like the janitor guy that's always sitting in the bathroom is strung out on like opioids or something sitting on the countertop where the sinks are just leaned against the wall Jesus <laughs> like Christ. halfway conscious i'm like this place fucking sucks like that <sighs> that airport's horrific there's people walking in gagging and just using the urinal just like <laughs> oh, <laughs> so fucking God. stinky 
But those he's guys like taking so relaxed. opioid shits in those toilets <laughs> one after another. <laughs> he's doing he's doing it. He's yeah, dude. Oh, when that fourth stall opens up, I'm gonna fucking wreck <laughs> that thing. <laughs> Hey, I got. It. I'm the one that's got to clean it later. <laughs> Abby put a, a goddamn. Well, I shouldn't say this. But she put a plant up on the front porch, and what does it look like? <laughs> it's got uh, it's got sizable mm-hmm. leaves, and the leaves keep like blowing in the wind and and hitting our goddamn ring doorbell. Mm. And I'm like, can we please move the plant? Because it's setting off the motion thing, which makes the dog bark. And she just cold ass like stared at me, and she's like, I'm not moving the plant. I like it there. And I'm I've like, never stood up for anything in my life, but I will stand up for this plan. <laughs> and I've been like standing up and saying, like, this is our this is how we tell if someone's at the fucking door and it's obviously bothering the dog. Can't we move the plant anywhere else? No. You pour poison in the plant. I'm I think I'm just gonna kill it, yeah. Yeah, you should pour you should pour <laughs> plant poison. Like oh. milk, like Pepsi. <laughs> you know, I just should pour do, like I should... a couple of Coca-Cola's in it, it'll probably die. <laughs> I'm not going to waste these goddamn things on that plant. I'm going to do what I did when I was a kid. And I, I got a, you know, a katana from the flea market for like $12. Uh, slice and it up. Yeah, I sliced up my mom's elephant ear plant. And she was like, oh, my God. Yeah. That's been here for 28 years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what are those called? A, some beautiful plant. I've definitely talked about this before. But it starts off as like a little ball. And ants like help it grow by like climbing all over it or whatever like pollinating it or some shit and then in the spring it becomes like this beautiful huge flower my mom for like weeks was like there's an animal getting into our garden and destroying them like something is eating them but it's just like ripping them apart like something is and it was me going out there with my wiffle ball bat because I was like, the ants are like eating the plant, like bang, bang. <laughs> and I was just like, they were just set up like little wiffle balls and I was destroying them. And it, it took until I was like in high school to finally see what one looked like bloomed. And I was like, wow, like I wish we had these everywhere. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no shit. Like you killed them all. Like you killed every one of them. But you no, know, I thought I was doing a good thing. So yeah, moms are bitches, right? <laughs> I remember getting a uh, a BB gun in the backyard, uh, and my neighbor was like, "Hey, like killing cats, killing squirrels." No, it was a little Tweety Bird. Oh, it, it, was, it was my first instance of of taking a life, and my neighbor was like, "Hey, you see that little Tweety Bird up there? You should shoot it." And I was like, Sh- "Should I?" Like, I got talked into it. He was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we should." Yeah, it probably took a lot of convincing. <laughs> yeah, there was. Hey, kid, uh, shoot that. Okay. <laughs> what and kill it uh, all right the heart's in my sights all right <laughs> yeah yeah just tell me that. i was like just give me the words say when and uh no i took some convincing and he was like yeah we yeah we could totally just see if it works like see if we could kill it because we hadn't shot anything with the pelagon yet see if it works yeah see if it works don't shoot like anything else shoot that bird <laughs> yeah shoot the living animal see if it works on killing birds <laughs> yeah there's only one way to test it uh, you know, um, you know, uh, shooting yeah, the well, side you know, of. Yeah, when you're a kid, you'd like to just shoot animals. Yeah, kill them. And so I lined up this little Tweety Bird, and then I shot it, and then my neighbor cried and told on me. <laughs> what the? F- he set you up. <laughs> or you're lying, and you're like, check this out, and you just shot a bird <laughs> no, in remember, front of your neighbor. I remember he was very upset with me, and actually, he's thinking you're talking about an adult. Like no, 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 he, no, not even a child. He's fucking years older. And I found out, Michael, it's Michael. If you're listening to this, I found out you listen to my goddamn podcast. You messaged me on Twitter. It's my old neighbor from across the street. He was like, hey, some of these episodes are pretty funny. And, and not all. Yeah, not all. <laughs> and he was like listening to recent episodes Fingers. and stuff. And because I was, we were talking about being, you know, kids uh, yeah. doing the, during the Halloween stuff. He's the fucking guy that told me to shoot the damn bird and then got upset when I shot the bird. And I remember... Michael, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch, yeah. You set Sam down a dark path. Bird was just the start. It was just the start. You think it works on a bigger animal? There was plenty of squirrels that ended up getting killed Uh, with that BB gun. That BB gun laid waste to a lot of things. And then I found out that you could pump it and then not... More. Yeah, yeah, you could just... And we ended up pumping it so many times that the cylinder broke because I got like those pellets were going like near the speed of sound. Like they would, yeah. I could get, take out twenty eight birds in a line if I if I got them all lined up. 
Uh, I, and, I found uh, the dog killing setting on this thing. Yeah. 15 pumps. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> so I ended up having to go back to the old <laughs> knife and slingshot yeah. method that I was <laughs> B- Bolo, yeah. get its legs and then knife it. Yeah. <laughs> the classics. Had to go back to my roots. Yep. Had to go back. Little snare traps. <laughs> snare traps and stuff. Jesus snare Christ. Trap? Let's go back to the snare thing. What the hell? We did, uh, we're doing like dream sequences for the oh. d- die of laughter thing. Brian yeah. comes in drunk as shit and just fucks up everything. <laughs> fucked up the whole thing. <laughs> I, I still think that's one of the funniest episodes we've had. <laughs> and then, and then, uh, and then this was just like, just remember this, Sam, because then you know how to act during his. I'm gonna fucking take whatever he's, I'm just gonna try to fuck his up. I'm gonna show up drunk as shit. And just I'm gonna him. I'm gonna show up high on crack or something. <laughs> uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be opioided out. He was on he was on a tear, dude. I should have oh, known. Yeah. I should have known. Something was up with him that day. Yeah, I I kind of like drunk Brian because he <laughs> talks more. But that was like one specific instance where it was like, okay, shut up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, all right. And then oh, dude, he was just pissing everyone off at the start because he's like what like i'm supposed to read all this and we're like it was sent to you like a week ago he's like okay what so i gotta be a doctor and read all this and go go through all i gave him a character sheet he's like what the hell all right my name's orkin or something all right uh i'm your dad or whatever yeah he's like i'm the dad i'm like okay he's like no i want to be a mom all right no i'm the dad i'm like dude just pick something i don't give a shit and then he saw the name he saw the affiliation did not read any of the character motivations at all no yeah i mean we, you like uh, spelled it out you're like okay you're like a good dad but this is the pressure of this and he's yeah. like fuck my kid you want to take him <laughs> There was, I, by the way, there was a, like, I explained it to Bizzle. There is a very strong triangle of argument that could have been done that was very important, where it was you were a major player and Bizzle was a major player, and Brian was supposed to play devil's advocate, and he just fucking bulldozed <laughs> over the entire thing. Like, and get back, bitch. I got this. <laughs> and my character now has zero, like, <laughs> It, it went from like a believable bad childhood that was kind of like outside <laughs> to just like my parents are fucking pieces of shit. I said the worst parents in the world. You were supposed to be loving parents caught in a bad position. Listen, and I I, ta- I stuck to my points. You said he no, gets you good were, grades. No, you were, you were good. Your choice of husband fucking sucks. Your husband yeah, bulldozed well, you at every I didn't corner. find that very believable that a, <laughs> such a sexy woman with such a big brain would be with him but yeah whatever i think she'd be more with a guy like luscious mouth boy but you know that's just me yeah luscious mouth boy was definitely uh one of the better which a by the way for the player audience never that, seen this is an advertisement for tie of laughter uh there is a character in our D campaign that's kind of a peripheral character just been talked about really hasn't made an appearance or anything but has very strong parallels to luscious malfoy from harry potter Oh wait! I never, <laughs> yeah, never considered his name, that. His name is Luscious Mouth Boy. Oh, close, and he's yeah. a little bit. And his bit, son, Mouth Boy. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little bit more sought after sexually yeah. than Lucius yeah. is for sure. Yeah, yeah. And his Same son amount is, of money though. Son is a lot like Mouth Boy. <laughs> mouth Boy. <laughs> yeah. Mouth Mouth Boy. Uh, I really like the <laughs> just like the shit you got the shit beat out of you and just so viciously to the point of like near death <laughs> you just wake up and you're like uh, uh, uh and then you just immediately accept it like <laughs> you're my boy <laughs> yeah you're my son i i thought that was a really good one uh, i it sucks I though realized, because i wanted to not to cut you off but i wanted to yeah. I, like i wrote all that stuff and i had like an idea in mind of of what i wanted the the post-production to be um mm-hmm the editing, the music, the everything. And then I fucking went out of town and Bizzle was just like, I'm starting editing tomorrow. And I'm like, fuck, I'm in California. Like, and he, he did all this great work and everything and it looks great, but um, I wish I, I could have been more hands-on for the edit on my, uh, um, on my little dream sequence or whatever. Well, Maybe I'll just too. take over and edit Brian's or something. <laughs> yeah. That'd be funny. <laughs> and you just, just edit it really poorly. Yeah. yeah. Hi, my name's uh, Brian. I edited this. <laughs> man, I'm Here's the song I made. I'm Brian. Yep. Fuck you, Brian. You you kind of soiled one aspect of that. Fuck yeah. you. That's why we 
We fired him. That's yeah, why he's not he's here. Gone. We fired <laughs> he's him. Gonna, he's gonna see the get the notification. And be like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then also, yeah, we're, we're gonna do an ad read next episode, and uh, we're gonna make him read it and not give him any money. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> uh, I'm actually well. I'm really excited for mine, but I was like, yeah, I'll do it all over the weekend. I'm gonna be in DC all weekend. And then I come back like a day before. Fuck, dude. Ow, it burns. The leather is burning the back of my neck. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be in DC all weekend, basically. Um, also, okay, we haven't really talked about Halloween at all. I mean, we did our Halloween episode, but I just want to give a quick two shout outs. I was simultaneously humbled and ego boosted. What was this like two weekends ago during Halloween party? I went to Kentucky. I've only been recognized for you know. You know, my being poob like twice in public before, not, you know, excluding like TwitchCon or something like that. Which is surprising because you are time. pretty easy to pick out of a crowd. Well, yeah. And <laughs> I know my friend, my friend, because I got recognized two more times in Kentucky, doubled my net rec- recognizations. My yeah. friend's like, I think it's really weird that like your persona is so like you that people are going to recognize you I'm like what you? it's just me like i just use a different name but like it's just a guy that i you know it's just it, whatever oh, yeah he thinks it's me. like a like it's an online persona only. yeah 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 th- like you, you put on a voice <laughs> yeah he thinks i'm like yeah i don't like know like obscure my face or something like i'm like swagger souls or something mm-hmm. hey, what's going on everybody <laughs> I'm trying to challenge. <laughs> That's a good it, Swagger Souls impression. It's pretty good. I've been working. Thank you. I've actually been working. I've been trying to naturally slide that in. <laughs> exactly. What I, he's I really want to use that crawdad voice. Yeah. <laughs> more. Oh, no, no, no. Anyway, <laughs> I, get, I get to this. It's a work party for my friend. Like, it's his boss's party. I come out of the bathroom. This guy's going to watch this and be like, That's me. There's a guy scared the shit out of me. Sorry, man. You were just actually really nice, but he, he was just standing outside the bathroom and was like staring at me. And, you know, I've got, you know, from the two times I've been recognized before, I kind of, I know it. it's like the guy at the the Whole Foods in Oregon that recognized you. It's like after, you for just, a, no, yeah. for a just, second, I'm like, did I have a class with this guy? And then I'm like, no, I know how this guy knows me. Yeah. And he was he was just like, uh, whoa, like poob here, like whoa. And, and I'm with, you know, I'm with some girls, I'm with my friend. I'm like, okay, is this gonna be a cool thing where it's like, wow, this guy, this guy we're with is actually, you know, he's pretty recognizable, or is it gonna be a like, this guy's gonna embarrass me? He did, you know, he didn't, but he's like, I'm this edible is hitting the fuck out of me. Like, whoa. Like, I didn't think I'd see you at this bitch's, put some bitch's party. This is like my best friend's boss. So I'm like, he's like, can we get a picture? Pulls out the phone that unfurls into a tablet. I'm like, yeah, that tracks. You know, I, I expect that. Get a picture with them. I get the classic, like, you're taller than I thought you'd be. I don't, I still don't know what that, I think that's an insult. I think that's a weird, you know, I think it's like I come off smaller than I am. Everyone says it when they meet me. I don't know what it's about. You know, it's not like I'm all legs, so you can't see it when I'm sitting down, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I'm like, you know, I'm fucked up at this party. Like, I don't really... He's, like, talking to me about, like, add me on Steam and stuff. I'm like, man, I'm, like, kind of... He's like, here, smoke. You want to smoke? And I'm like, God, I just, literally just got back from France like, a couple days ago. I'm, like, kind of tripping out a little bit. Cause, <laughs> look at you go, you dog. <laughs> And you mentioned, like, and it's I know, kind right, of it's, late. The, there you go. I've it is kind of late in the day. It's almost, <laughs> yeah. I could have a beer. Yeah, that's and, and I Anyway, like, he was really nice and everything, but it was like kind of like, wow, cool. I got recognized. Like, this guy wanted a picture with me. And then, like, my friend and his girlfriend's friends are like, whoa, this guy got a picture taken? Like, what's all that about? Later that night, we're at a bar. This guy's walking by in a no-face Studio Ghibli costume and i'm just extended out like i see him walking by and i'm like nice costume reach out for the fist bump he hits me with a drive-by sup poob fist bump keeps walking and i was like that was so fucking cool like that was so just like this guy doesn't give a shit about me but then also i got hit with the like you don't want to take a picture (laughs) you don't want to say hi that's it sup poob that's all you're gonna that's all you're gonna give me and like even my my friend saw it from like a couple of feet away and came over. And was like, dude, that guy was badass. Like, 
he, and I'm like, what does that guy think? I was already reached out. And he's like, there's a guy I know from some stupid podcast. And he hits me with the drive-by. He I, might just I really respected you. that. Yeah, you he know. just knows of me, yeah. and he just doesn't. He just, like, I don't know if he respected us with friends, or he just doesn't, you know, he just, that's it. Yeah. That's how people should treat me, because it's like, we're pod, you know, I'm a guy that just plays video games in front of a camera. Like, I don't really add much, you know? I don't do, like, the other guy being kind of, like, starstruck by me, I'm like, come on. Like, it's, you know, I am just a fucking guy at a party. I guess the, guy, I guess the situation of being at a house party. Yeah, no, it, it is like yeah. I would. Yeah, if I if like, I was waiting in line for a bathroom and like, yeah, here's voice a, critical. By the way, down. here's an example of what not to do. I what? am in Trinidad once again. Yeah, <laughs> North California. Wow, you were and, there? <laughs> yeah, I was there. Yeah, <laughs> well, I was and in France. There's but. a uh, light. Were you? And there's yeah. a lighthouse. And uh, this lighthouse, there's like a trail to get to it. And you end up going through basically like what I thought was just a trail. It ended up being kind of one of those fucking crazy botanical mazes behind uh, the Overlook Hotel from The Shining. Like oh, it yeah. was like hedgerows that have grown up and like sealed off. I felt Creepy. like I was in. Yeah, it was like the ending of the, the fifth Harry Potter book where the guy that, was the guy was made. slowly following you and you'd look <laughs> behind you and he'd go back in the hedge. <laughs> no, like I, I passed by these teens out in this like it was the trail. Hey, teens? <laughs> yeah. The trail kept like breaking off into these different branches and they would go out to vistas where you could like look out off of the oh, yeah. off of the cliffs. And uh, at this one, I came across these teens and. And I was just like, hey, what's up? And I kept walking. And Abby was like, one of them like turned and like gave you a long stare as you walked away. And it was mm. fucking weird. And uh, and then we kept we kept getting lost because like the stupid trail kept breaking off. And then we'd come back to him and be like, is this the original route? Like we couldn't figure it out. Yeah. It's one of those things where from the parking lot, it just looked like a hill with a lighthouse. And then once we got up there, this we realized there's miles of like hidden pathways yeah. in the bushes. And then homeless people just kind of carve out their own little places where they oh, can like yeah. hide in the bushes. And <laughs> so when it touches me, I don't think this is leather, dude. I don't think this is leather. my first time wearing it. Like Sorry, go on. Yeah. <sighs> uh, I end up going up this like tall, windy path in the basically like shaded by this little canopy. And it finally opens up. And all those teens I saw earlier are just like in a semicircle, just like waiting. <laughs> <laughs> like wait, uh, and I get up, and I'm just like, <sighs> and they're like, "It is General Sam," and I'm like, what? "Like, why do you have to ambush me and my wife? Uh, like, way out here, Are you gonna wait it in the parking lot or something, or said something when I passed by yeah. earlier?" Immediately, they're like, "Can we have a picture?" And I'm just like, <sighs> "Can we like uh, wait a minute?" They they were like body blocking the benches, so I couldn't sit down. Uh, I was like, "Fuck, like, come on, man." <laughs> But, um, you know, they were pretty cool, just not the right place. Yeah. Yeah. Go wait outside his house next time. Yeah, don't, or sit in one of those little home holes home. where the homeless people hang out in the yeah. bush and just and like, go, yeah, like reach out with your camera and take a photo of me yeah. or something. As a, That's not creepy. Wait wait till you and Abby are kissing Yeah, and circle you. That doesn't happen. Uh, no, nah, we went, yeah. we went to, to Trinidad to try to rekindle some love. Should have reproposed on that bluff. Oh, like take new vows yeah. and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said the words. You have to love me yeah. again. No, come on. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't this remind you of how it was? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, I did, instead of coming back with, like, a fully, like, reignited love love life and everything, I did uh, come back with some driftwood. I got oh, some. Look at that. Another one. Yeah. I got a bunch of You can here. whittle that into a great. I, I wish I had it, it in to a show. Mason jar. I got a really cool uh, wood uh, handle, like, homemade in this little village knife oh that's from awesome some guy that they they use it as like a rite of passage when they go on this trip they I always got go to the same knife maker smoky the bear Damn. bobblehead why is he ripped <laughs> oh yeah what the hell he's he got like a great body <laughs> he does the fuck he does it's yeah. like jim hopper from <laughs> yeah. stranger things what the hell? god damn, i want to have sex with that animal <laughs> His head comes off too. I, oh. Yeah, the glue's coming off. Yeah, there was a lot of like forest fire related stuff there, and I get that California has a lot of forest fires, but that was the wettest fucking place I've ever been to. <laughs> yeah. I would, I almost felt like trying to start one. I was like, I think you people are fucking lying. You're exaggerating. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was so wet there every day. It was just like misting uh. in the morning. 
wet everywhere except for in that Airbnb. Yeah. No wetness at no, all there. Driest goddamn place I've ever been to. Yeah. Uh, that guy at Halloween, too. Wait. I don't have anything else to say. I thought I did. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want to say it. That's fine. Nah. Yeah, I, I've realized that, like, apparently when we say stuff, the audience. People listen. Yeah, the fucking audience are a bunch of goddamn narcs, and they tell people what they say. I honestly say. thought they would have tuned out by now. I th- I would think so, too. <laughs> I I'm fucking, really impressed. Uh, I have shit listening. on, like, three or four fucking people, and, like, they yeah, keep messaging narcs. them, like, hey, look what he said here. You know what? I, I'm we, turning over a new leaf. I'm just going to say nice things about people from here on out, and I bet you none of you fuckers are going to send anybody the nice things I say. We should, like, honey trap some narcs and, like, say some bad things as a, like... You know that aren't real about some friends. Like create and see rumors. If they, yeah, see if they yeah. get a DM about it, and then they can reveal the narc. Mm. So I'll be like, yeah, actually, uh, Omid's like a big dumb bitch, and I'm only <laughs> going to this poker game as a joke. Yeah. Now Devin's going no, through God. HIV uh, yeah. <laughs> therapy. <laughs> yeah, for his AIDS <laughs> that he got, and he gave his girlfriend. He didn't even tell her. <laughs> yeah. So, and now she's suing the <laughs> shit out of him. So. Yeah. Uh, All right, now we wait to see if they get those DMs. <laughs> then we know who the Devin narc is. Devin is yeah. a bug chaser. That's what he yeah. told me. He's really into that. <laughs> yeah. What the hell is that? Those are those are gay people that they the kink is getting a, like STDs. Like they that's like their huge thing. They love to get STDs. Oh, weirdly specific. I yeah. wonder how big that community is. Four or <laughs> um, five people. <laughs> uh, dwindling. It's by dwindling. The day. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say it's getting smaller. <laughs> yeah. Good day. Uh, oh, by the way, wait, wait, hold on. One more travel related thing before we wrap yeah, this yeah, up. Yeah, tell me, tell me. I your went travels. to. Uh, we drove up from San Francisco Airport uh, up to Trinidad, mm-hmm. which, by the way, looks like Trinidad. a very small distance. Uh, and I was in like, France. Five and a half fucking hour drive. On the way back, I was like, hey, I got to see the Golden Gate and everything like that. So I got up there and looked at the Golden Gate Bridge, drove across it and everything. And Did you hold your breath when you drove across it? No, I didn't. Oh. But, uh, which by the way, you can tell that thing was made in like the 1920s or something. It is like just steel girders Very. and big rivets. Yeah. And like, it's just, I just feel like if we remade that bridge today, it would be like half as much material. Like it's, yeah. it's so overbuilt. And the the road is so narrow. It's like it was obviously yeah, made for like horses and model T's and shit. Like yeah. very narrow roads. But um while I was up there in the bay, I was looking at Alcatraz. Oh yeah. I went to Alcatraz when I was a kid. Really? Yeah, now, a ghost had sex with me, but <laughs> I don't remember it too much. Oh God, you have such a storied life. That's awesome. But the I uh, did go to Alcatraz, so yeah, it was cool. I think I bought a little, like, you can buy, like, a little piece of rubble or something from the gift shop. Oh, that's cool. Like, oh, like, you're, like, you get it out of the wall? Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Did I you go looking, there? You just saw it. No, I just saw it, and I'm a huge fan of the Escape from Alcatraz movie. And looking at that island, and they, people always go, like, oh, the currents and all this, and the water's so cold. It doesn't seem like it's that far from the coast. I think... I, think I could I, do that <laughs> swim, yeah. If I put on a goddamn wool pea coat, I feel like I could make it before I, I, I get too cold. I just feel like it's not that far of a it. distance. Yeah, I, th- I feel like they should have gotten out too. They're just a couple murders and rapists. They should have yeah, out, out there free, out yeah. there living amongst us. <laughs> they engineered a raft. I think they yeah. should. They bought their freedom with that. No, I was Whoa. just looking at it. It just didn't seem like it was that like unfeasible. Impossible. Yeah, and the water was so calm out there. <laughs> just it's well, in a bay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things, though, where it probably looks a lot easier than it is. Okay, well, I also was kind of trying to gauge the distance, and I think it was kind of like a, a tilt-shift effect where, like, I was looking down on it, so it seemed like it was much smaller yeah. and the distances were shorter. It's further, I've heard when things are further away, they look smaller. Yeah. that Could also that prison could... fit one, two guys? <laughs> what the hell? It's you big. stand what is... on this side of the island, and you yeah. stand on this side. Uh, the no, the, I, I watched a sailboat travel from the island to oh. the shore, and it did take them quite a while to get there. But and I'm sure they were going faster than swimming speed, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, swimming prisoner speed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, with shackles between their arms and feet, yeah. Um, but that being said, I still think I, I would give them a chance. I'd say there, there, there's probably a way. That, is, that fucking sucks to like mastermind and escape, and you're on you're on Alcatraz. Like, yeah, 
any other prison, you probably would have been fine. Yeah. Just go through the, the shit tunnel, I, like in Shawshank. I, yeah. Like, do they even have prisons like Al- like Alcatraz anymore um, in America? They got any island I'm, prisons? You know, actually, coincidentally, I just came back from Trinidad, California. Have yes. You, um, I've you been heard anywhere of, recently? France. Oh, okay. Paris for a day. <laughs> Southern. In a town called Bordeaux, not Bordeaux, <laughs> okay. for like a week and a half. Very cool. Well, yeah, I found I one of those in the, like the local restaurants. You know, have you ever seen where they'll have like a hand illustrated map of the town or whatever? Oh yeah, those map. are cute. Yeah, there was a historical map of Trinidad where I was, and in the bay they have those. Uh, have you ever seen where they'll just have like rocks, like little island rock islands out like a rock islands? <laughs> yes. Rock islands. Just basically an uninhabitable a big rock, a big rock with yeah. enough dirt on top where like a bush will grow, you know? Yeah, like, they're, they're yeah. just like it's a place for seals to hang out. There was yeah. one called Pris- oh. Prisoner Rock, and I was oh. like, oh, I wonder where they call that. I looked it up. Apparently, when sailors would get too shit faced, they would just leave them out on the rock for them to sober up, and Jesus. then they would go come the night, uh, the next morning. And I was out there. Fucking nights got brutally cold, and if I was drunk as shit, I would slip off of that and fall into the yeah. goddamn water and drown. I'd be attacked by seals and <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah, I know. that would be horrible. I'd be so pissed if they left me out there drunk as yeah, shit. Yeah, it's just a joke. We're gonna leave this <laughs> drunk guy out here. Yeah, and they, a very they definitely were just you, rock. <laughs> definitely are just leaving those guys to die. Yeah, yeah I, I would. A, I would have died from exposure out there for sure. You got a bush you can lay in or something. <laughs> that yeah. bush was up there, dude. It was. Yeah. I, I went back and looked at the rock after I saw the map because I was like, is this the rock that I think they're talking mm-hmm. about? Not it looks a- so small, <laughs> so far away. <laughs> it looks so tiny. I would think they would have picked a flat one with like a tree or something. No, <laughs> this thing, like a it came nice out of the water and it was just like pointy, like a volcano. There was nowhere to sit or anything. It was just all around bad. Uh, yeah. But, well, they got yeah. drunk, so they deserved it. <laughs> a sailor getting drunk. That's yeah. very novel. And well, there's so much to do ordinary. on a boat. Why would you just, you know, yeah. why would you resort to drinking? That's just stupid. A yeah, sailor would fucking suck. It would suck so bad, dude. That town, they it sucks because the industry was cutting down redwoods, and apparently you can't do that now. Ugh. And, uh, and they so, got like a hundred of them. Yeah. They, yeah they, <laughs> you know, you got at least a couple months where the work left. I mean, one of those trees is probably like, at least one rick of wood that I could burn in my fire. Dude, uh, that's gotta... It concerns me that at the, like the state parks and stuff, they were, they were talking about how tall the trees were and everything. They still calculated it in board feet. <laughs> like how many <laughs> houses you can build with yeah, yeah. this fucking tree. And I'm like, can't we calculate it just by just regular feet? They're, they're like, yeah. no, board feet. This is how many goddamn two by fours you can get out of this thing. But Hands tall is this. Now that the, the lumber industry has gone from there, everybody's basically a fisherman or in the tourism industry. And the fishermen Soon side, they're going to be like, there's not going to be any fish. Yeah. Well, I bet you. And I wonder what? if like Fukushima messed with them at all. Oh, I don't know. Because I, I heard like California was getting a bunch of radioactive fish years they after re- Fukushima. You should really uh, bury into that Jurassic Park 2 scene. The <laughs> least popular Jurassic Park, I <laughs> yeah. think. But yeah. But that focus on that more and uh, was Jeff get a Goldblum picture of Vince Vaughn. One? He is, yeah. I think he's like the main guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, which he's is w- like he's what such happened a to side Alan? character. Yeah, and to bring him to the forefront. I mean, he's a great actor, but I don't I, feel I like him, the character was enough to warrant being the protagonist of that. Yeah, and then Vince <laughs> Vaughn, you bring him in. Yeah. What's going on? Did you see the shot for shot remake of Psycho? Where Norman Bates is played by Vince Vaughn. Oh. It is fucking horrific. It is the <laughs> worst goddamn remake <laughs> I have ever oh, seen. It's bad. Completely unwarranted, by the way, because the original yeah. is still totally watchable. Like, yeah. it's like remaking. Oh, it's old. It's not that old. It's, <laughs> I think they chose to shoot it in black and white. I don't think it was like, I think there was From- color film back then. You know, it was like okay. mid sixties, I think, is when Psycho oh. came out. Like, yeah, they could have done it color, I think. Uh, when did Wizard of Oz come out? No idea. Wizard oh. of Oz was not. It, it has color, yeah, but I think it's like that's like a special process that was like a total pain in the ass. Oh. Uh, they did some sort well, of like I like hand it when painted. it switches from black and white to color. That is really cool, though, for sure. That, 
if I saw that when it came out, I'd probably have my fucking mind blown. Especially <laughs> if that was like the first thing that was in color. That'd be really cool. Yeah. Well, It'd be really if cool if they really played wasn't. it on like a, I don't know if this is possible, but on a black and white projector. So you got none of the... <laughs> This um, town ain't big enough uh, yeah, for a color yeah, projector. We just do yeah. the old black and white. Everyone's like, like, whoa, look how colorful <laughs> it is now in the movie. And you're like, what the fuck are they? I can imagine, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But uh, cool if they, I don't know if they had this, but they, if they did 3D glasses. <laughs> yeah. If they did the red and one red, one blue. This is the worst fucking 3D glass technology in the world. We're watching Shark Boy and Lava Girl at like a children's museum with those. Like, Jesus Christ. My God. Eyes fucking hurt after like five minutes. I don't even like. There was 3D. a thing for like a little bit. AMC, they would give you those 3D glasses, and it was cool for like two months in yeah. middle school to take those glasses and cut oh, the lenses pop them out. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was the lamest shit ever. <laughs> and just wear the AMC glasses. Some people put a little tape around the thing, and be like, "Look, they're like nerd glasses." <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You're supposed to, they ask you to put them in the bin when you're done. You respect the rules. <laughs> I don't respect that shit, dude. As a teenager, spending that much money on a a, a movie ticket was insane. That was so much money. Yeah. And I, was. so I was like, I bought these glasses. I just don't like, like 3D movies just like take no, me. Suck. I don't know. They make my eyes hurt or something. Not Really? You think? Forcing your eyes, a forced perspective trick with lenses? These eyes were only <laughs> meant to see 2D ever. <laughs> I see in cartoons, and then I they try to force that shit on me. The uh, do a Wizard of Oz thing. We're halfway through the movie. I guess they already do that, where they're like, "Now put on your 3D glass." But if it's like the whole movie's 2D and it's like a really good movie, and, and then, then it they, just like, turns into Beetlejuice, where it's like claymation yeah. 3D. Yeah, put on cool. 3D glass. Oh fuck, <laughs> fucking hate this. Yeah. If you go back and watch a lot of those movies from the early 2000s, it becomes very obvious when when they're 3D. like, "Whoa." Yeah, there's so many scenes yeah. in all those like actiony movies, kids yeah. movies, where shit's just flying directly at the screen, and yeah. you can tell it was that because that it was big for a little bit. They it's not like yeah. the technology died; they just don't make 3D movies. I don't think anymore. Well, this sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's just added up of it. Like maybe one day we'll get to the. I mean, when we get to 4D, real 4D, and you can smell the farts and you can smell that yeah. kind of stuff. Then you know it's gonna be a new thing. There was and an it, insane predator ride. Gray water at um, Bush Gardens, like Universal or, or Universal oh, or something. I don't know where the fuck it was. Yeah, it was probably Universal because or MGM or something. Um, it, there was an alien ride that you got in a spaceship that was very. Uh, I was gonna say M C Escher, but H R Giger. <laughs> yeah, not M C Escher. The fuck inspired. are you saying? <laughs> H.R. Giger, he's the guy that that did all the concept art for Alien. Oh, and so oh, it was okay. like it was very much like a, a little, you know, space uh, ship set that was kind of like based off of his drawings and stuff. And while you're like watching this Alien thing behind you, an alien like tongue like licks the back of your yeah. neck or something. <laughs> and and it's like, just a guy working. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That would, I would pay extra for that. He's like sucking on your yeah. earlobes. Well, a lot like of the furniture in H.R. Giger's work is very sexual. Like it, it, there'll be seats with cocks in them that like the people yeah. sit down in. I guess I got to sit on this <laughs> yeah. for the and, movie. And weirdly yeah. enough, that set had like. Oh, and there's a guy choking you yeah, from behind licking your neck. The seat was moaning and shit. Yeah. There's a little Mexican it's just a guy, guy in, there. A, in a chair suit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he just puts like uh, like recliner arms over his arms. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you know, this oh. is the part where the alien has sex with you. <laughs> <laughs> it, the whole premise of the show was that the alien was missing mm. and it was like crawling through it's the vent shafts or whatever. <laughs> and it would breathe in your ear and stuff behind uh, you. Yeah. I'll and sit it, on the alien <laughs> tongue. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, and it would whisper things in Spanish to you. And you're like, oh my God, like, is there any clues? And people were like, the alien's Spanish. I, I hear him oh my God. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. It's an allegory. <laughs> the Legal immigration. Totally to, oh, oh my God, I'm right prepared. It's, it's saying it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> the alien's coming, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a good, I remember doing that when I was like seven. That was <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was, it was kids cool. only. Yeah, no adults are allowed in there. <laughs> yeah, real dark. Yeah, uh, they said the seats can't take the weight of some of the parents. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
per- <laughs> you, had to sit, you had to sit on the <laughs> ticket guy's lap to see if you weighed enough. And then, yep. Yeah. Oh, be man. this small. Yeah, but that 4D to- shit, when that comes to, like, you know, the house or whatever. Yeah, cool. when it's beyond just, like, Shrek yeah. and Universal. Like, when it blasts you with air and... I did that that avatar. There's an avatar ride at I think Universal where it's like ride of the Banshee. It's one of the it's fucked up. Like you have to pay so much to get in there. Then you have to pay for certain rides now. They pay for it. you get like this little like fucking motorcycle whatever. It is so badass though the technology. Like they you put on basically 3D glasses, and then they've got like wind blasting your hair and like water sprays you a little bit and the glass in the way the chair moves. With the screen flipping, it feels like you're, like, upside down at points. Huh. If I could get something like that in my house. I feel like I would go I to use the bathroom, cool. and then that scene would happen, and my chair would, like, crush my leg with its yeah. hydraulics ah! and stuff. Yeah. No, or yeah, I'd go it didn't to, like, sit in it, safe, and the chair yeah. would go up, and it fucking uppercut me or something. Yeah. It can't get caught up underneath it. I don't know. I just, oh, I just keep spraying water <laughs> down my throat. Yeah. <laughs> I drowned in their little 4D area. They got yeah, stuck in the chair and then it sprayed water in their face. First 4D related death is going <laughs> to crash the industry. You know what? Those self driving cars have been running over people left and right and they don't seem to be stopping them in any way. I Still d- safer I than people. Follow. I've seen a lot of people <laughs> crashing cars. I would much <sighs> rather have a computer do it, I think. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> I, don't, I would just like it so I could just, you know, if I had a self-driving car, I'd start drinking and go to sleep for l- long drives. Yeah. Just completely conk out. Uh, play Scrabble or something. Something that you yeah. can't do at, like, at the place that you're staying because, you know, yeah. nobody wants to yeah. mess up the Airbnb. Probably eat a little hotel. board of cheese. Oh, now you're getting crazy. But that's insane to do. That's a party. In a dwelling. But in your car, I think it I think it should be fine. In cheese country? <laughs> you're going to eat cheese, a little cheese plate? Leave a little cheese out? You know, I just thought of like I feel like you went on my vacation, and I should have gone on. Nah, never mind. I don't really like cultures all that much, but the uh, I feel like going to Cryptidville is very much your speed. Yeah, there was. Did not, France have any cryptids? Um, not that I saw. Like uh, I wonder not that if I captured you captured on camera. Is that but... like an American phenomenon, or are there like? No, no, because well, I mean, they're, they're the Loch Ness Yeti. monster and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah Yetis. Yeah, yeah, but do stuff. the French have any? Whereas I'm were... sure. I think every culture probably has got creepy crawlies. But there is, I was much more afraid of the very real threat of troglodyte raids. They call them troglodyte raids. They do on farm country. Mm. And ghosts, because apparently it's a very gonna, haunted home. Gonna, oh, that might be their only creepy crawlies is the, the ghosts. Ghosts. Yeah. I did like like every big sprawling French. field. I was like, I bet battles have been fought there for hundreds of years. Yeah, every Thousands. picture you posted, everything just looks then, so old. Yeah, like the, all the cat. There was just a castle in the town, and yeah. I'm like, this is so fucking badass. The little moats and shit. I went to Josephine Baker's castle, and it was like, there's castle. There's, there's a bunch. What do they got? Uh, the they, frog daddy. The Quinnator. Wow, these fucking suck. <laughs> yeah, Quinitar. That doesn't sound very scary. It's a looks like instead of a minotaur, it's like a a bull front and then a fish's ass. <laughs> I did. It's, I actually did see one of those. So like, okay. I didn't know that was a cryptid. <laughs> it's just a fucking like shark's ass, and then it has like horns and and hooves up front. It's uh, really it's bad. Not very scary. I was right yeah. by a cow farm. I could I could have seen that. It was right by a creek. Uh oh, they have the ogre. Apparently, ogre oh, is, is that ogre's a French thing? I guess so. Um, it eats Some... infants and children. Let's see. Uh yeah, it's a, the ogre is of French origin. Look at that. Okay, so oh. they have one of the classics. I I spoke out of turn. I'm sorry, yeah. French people. You're yeah, you have. You're ogre. Res- yeah. It's kind of like Sasquatch. It's weird. I, I feel I feel like I'm I've got my wires all crossed. I sit there and, and shit on the French cultures immediately like that. But then I, I go to bat for these goddamn uh murderers and rapists in Alcatraz thinking they could swim across that bay. Yeah. You do have a little bit of I don't know, you got some like an underdog a, mentality. Yeah, I think yeah. You like the underdog, the yeah. 
the killers of the world. <laughs> the killers French and have been on top for too long. Yeah, I feel like they're they the need most to stop respected and powerful <laughs> country in the world. They need to stop calling all the shots on the on the global scale. Uh, it's like they say something, we got to fucking do it. We got to change our ways, or else. Here's a, here's a question. I did bring that up that like I'm not really all that big on on cultures and stuff as much as like the sites. When you go vacationing, do you like seeing the natural world or do you like experiencing a culture more? Now that's a great question. I think it depends on where I'm going. I since I'd never been out of country, I was you know I, was, I think well you're always kind of interested in both, but I definitely. I like just the splendor of like the beautiful rolling hills and stuff. And it's very hilly and cavey there, you know, because the troglodyte culture. I like that more. But then also it's like when you're in a place like that, you can't help but be like, my God, every one of these like buildings is so fucking old. Yeah. And it's just cool. Like it's just our country is so much more like new yeah, comparatively. New. Like, Well, look at the way we build shit compared to them. Like they laugh yeah. at us because it was like uh, pine, the mm -hmm. weakest lumber, like balsa two by fours and some yeah. gypsum board. This will. And then every goddamn every like uh, six months in Oklahoma, they're like another entire neighborhood picked yeah, up by a tornado yeah. and 58 yeah. people died. And they're like, why, why don't you just build your houses out of shit that isn't going to blow away? But yeah, I don't know. They, they, it was cool too in that town. Like there's a lot of businesses just built into the caves. And it's like cool in there. I mean, I don't know if I'd want to live in a cave like a trog, but uh, yeah, like all the businesses it were just built like into you them. And appreciated French culture, but are very dismissive towards troglodyte culture. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them. They pick off. Yeah. I don't actually. I don't know. They're I like highwaymen, but they yeah. But we just all cool. kind of as of. Maybe it was the elitist being around the elite for that long, but I definitely just thought of them as kind of like poor mm. and like her, like cave dwelling hermits, and I don't like that. And maybe because I saw the descent recently, like if I just saw if I even saw a guy with long hair there, I'd probably hit him in the head with a hammer because <laughs> I just assume it's a trog. I, I it'd be great if you walked away from there, like just assuming there was troglodytes, like completely separate race of people. It's just working class people. <laughs> Just, wow, I can't wow, believe yeah, I wow, saw this wow, man we went using to the troglodyte town. manual yeah. tools and laboring, yeah. and I knew tool it was a troglodyte. They have tool construction. <laughs> this is a normal ass God, Mason. God, it's operating a vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They do it. Son of a bitch. I was horrified a couple times, like, being in another culture. I don't speak a goddamn lick of French. Like, if I had been in a Spanish-speaking country, I could That's have at least, fear. like, gotten my way it, everyone like, before I went there, everyone's like, "Don't worry, everyone speaks English there." Yeah, maybe in like Paris, but I went, you know, down yeah. to these little villages where it's like I was on the train down, and a lady walked by me that spoke English and was like a ticket lady, and she's like, "Oh, like I talked to your friend, you're good," and then she left, and I'm waiting in line for the bathroom, and another lady comes up that doesn't speak English, and she's like, "Ticket, ticket," and I'm like, "Oh fuck, like." I'm like speaking English. She doesn't know what I'm saying. I don't know what she's saying. And she like hands me a little thing. And it's like, you know, I get that she wants me to put in my birthday. I forget they flip months and days there. So I put it in. And she's like, what? And uh, like, uh, yeah, my month and my days are flipped up. And like, I'm getting so fucking stressed out because I just don't know Wait, what's Is that like, actually what's a concern? Like doxing your, your birth date? I don't know. Because uh, that not. would, by the way, put you in huge leagues above many streamers that I know. Because every I guess they probably had birthday streams. That is anyway, like the them. weakest shit ever. I think as a streamer to do a birthday stream because you know that they're just, just like, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, my go live on my birthday. My Give family don't love me. Yeah. yeah. I sorry, I'm not a. That's a big money making today. day for sure. Yeah, and all. I will say too, like speaking of stereotypes of like Persians and stuff, like the one we were in France Persians? for like two nights. Yeah. Persians, yeah. <laughs> That's what they call people from Paris. Yeah. Pa Parisians. <laughs> yeah. Parisians, I mean. Yeah, sorry. I just also got really worked up about Persians while I was there. I've got a meat on my mind and all this yeah. stuff. Uh but yeah, stereotypes about Persians, all these rugs and no <laughs> Parisians. Everyone's like they they hate Americans, they're rude, all this shit. I went out the first night, like we went out to that fancy sushi place, and then we found a cool bar, and then everyone's like, oh, we're going to bed. I walked them to the hotel, like the family and my friends, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to go out. Like, I want to have a little midnight in Paris moment. Yeah. 
I did not, but I got oh. wasted at a bar and I like just ran. I just started talking to people and they were very, very cool. They're like, oh, American. Like they loved it. They spoke English. And I'd be like, I'm sorry. Like when you talk to me, you have to speak English. They're like, we speak English, dick. Like we know both, like, you know, it's just taught here. Yeah. Like, oh, that's cool. And then they just speak French to each other. And I'd sit there like an idiot, like <laughs> for like five minutes. And they come back and talk to me again. And I met a, just a bunch of really cool people. And then we like talked about like stereotypes in each other's countries and they were like, so, like, have you ever been near, like, a shooting? <laughs> yeah. Every goddamn night. <laughs> every every single night when I go to bed. <laughs> they're like, have you seen gun? I'm like, yeah. yeah. I have a gun. gun that, and they're like, oh, no, your cars are so, like, the trucks. So you see trucks? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. we got trucks. It's, it's like, uh, we you know, we bonded through just, like, <laughs> Mike, and you guys smoke cigarettes all the time. You stink. <laughs> they're like, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You guys do a lot of raping around here. Oh yeah, that's oh. yeah. That's, I didn't know that was a stereotype. <laughs> you know, oh, uh, not not so much rapey, but very Pepe Le Pew-ish Where they? Oh, Pepe. Yeah, I'm yeah. like you guys like Pepe. You guys <laughs> like Pepe Le Pew. We love Pepe Le Pew. Yeah. yeah. We, oh we my cannot God, he's take a hero. No. We cannot take yeah. a no for an answer. He's our Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> like, oh, cool. I don't know what that means, but sure. I love that. I know for you. Speedy Gonzalez is gone. <laughs> what the hell? Speedy they? Gonzalez, though, I feel like. Is like more admire like people like him yeah in like spanish communities really even though he's just like a stereotype yeah i think it's just from what i've okay, look at me i'm speaking for the spanish community here <laughs> uh, i'm gonna speak completely for you i think it's just we like to see that representation even though it wasn't great you know it's just nice to have yeah that's well, what i, I, think, I think we like what's weird is like and i'm gonna speak for french people now too we also love pepe Le Pew. <laughs> it is weird that like a american politics towards mexico is very aggressive i feel like and a lot of sentiment is very aggressive but you have to admit american culture celebrates mexico a lot like cinco de mayo is fucking huge here and yeah uh, but it's like they're just like yeah, one whatever. on the street like why are you <laughs> celebrating like, yeah. so i can get drunk yeah. <laughs> Not, weather's nice yeah, yeah but <laughs> those mexican flags dude they're bought up and f waved yeah. around on that day and everything and uh oh shit i'm gonna call the same thing with that uh what is it day of the dead it's like weirdly celebrated all of a sudden i think it's not that i mean mexico's right there and there's a lot of like i mean america's a you know, boiling pot or whatever <laughs> it's a boy yeah it's a it is a boiling under pressure pot yeah, ready yeah. to explode what do they what do they call it yeah it's melting a boiling pot. pot right yeah melting pot it was, <laughs> boiling it, was pot. it was a melting pot and it slowly turned into a pressure cooker I think over time. melting is more hot than boiling though is it <laughs> melting you're burning the metal yeah, yeah it's yeah. really hot okay. oh okay it's a melting pot you know there's no set culture or anything yeah except for Amer when i i was the most aggressively american looking guy when i first got there i got a lot of stares i was wearing my nascar jacket i had my fucking the way i look yeah i had my wildcats hat on blue jeans everyone's like Ugh, he's not wearing capris with long <laughs> socks and <laughs> high top shoes what the fuck is this guy Where the there's a lot guy? of hey, is this yeah. white and black striped yeah. shirt yeah. where's this beret? Yeah, i got a lot of just like fucking redneck <laughs> like looked so yeah dude i went I to get that on. i went to the statue of liberty uh in 2006 i believe and larry the cable guy was huge then and my brother was a big larry the cable guy fan and so hey, had of course had a checkered like Button up shirt that he had cut the sleeves off. Of. Jesus Christ. And then it looks like Larry the Cable Guy, also. And then a pair of fucking Wranglers with like the work, like uh, Tim's on, you know? And he had a belt buckle, like a big fucking belt buckle. And we were at uh we were at the Statue of Liberty, and my brother's just standing there with a dip in, like in the I fucking love this statue. He's just standing there in like the the open area, and he looks over, and there is another guy dressed exactly like him. And the guy looks at him and just goes, "You ain't from around here, are you?" <laughs> the guy happened to be about thirty minutes north of here. He lived up uh, in like Thomasville or some oh shit. And he was Big like, "Larry fan, <laughs> yeah. hell yeah, oh yeah, Fucking brother, love Larry." <laughs> Uh, He's the, I love him and Jeff. What's that, Jeff? Jeff you might be a redneck. Jeff. Yeah, that was like the least redneck guy too. 
Uh, I, will not, I don't think any of any, all of them are just like I can make money off rednecks. For <laughs> wait, wait, like, Larry oh. the Cable Guy's not even. He's from like Oakland or something. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. From the south, if I remember he's from correctly. From France. Yeah, he's from Paris. <laughs> yeah. He's doing a parody. I don't even think his name's yeah. Larry. He has like a. That's like a. I think most like country music stars too. It's like. Just do you work on a farm. <laughs> yeah. Really? Like, do you <laughs> you drive tractors and shit, or are you just like? Yeah. This is kind of catchy for a. Uh, Oh, we got probably a lot of country music fans in yeah. the audience. I don't mean that. I I don't mean to you know disparage some of the stars or anything, but um, I don't think Johnny Cash ever fucking killed anybody. He went to prison. He sang a lot about that shit. We had the prison blues or whatever. He's a fucking poser. Yeah, he's a pussy. Yeah, I'd honestly kick his ass. John Wayne or whatever. John Wayne now or a Huge couple pussy. years before his death, I would have kicked his ass. I mean, he's, oh, he, he was he like an army dodger or something? Yeah. Orson Welles, Pussy. right before death, probably could have kicked his ass. Marlon yeah. Brando. I'm just naming all the people that got really yeah, fat right. before they died. Yeah. <laughs> On their deathbed, choke yeah. them out, kill them. Da- Danny DeVito now, I could probably kick his ass. <laughs> Danny DeVito in his prime? No way. No. Dude, that guy's so stout. <laughs> It'd be like trying to yeah. tackle a, a stump or something. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah. <laughs> I think I could just, I think I could mash him. I think I could mash him into the <laughs> nah. ground. I feel like that would be like, I don't know. I feel like he'd be so sturdy. Yeah. He'd be one of those people you'd go to push and be like, oh, it'd be like that bully moment where, you know, you realize, that, oh, I'm beating up Peter Parker. And then all of a sudden, oh, shit, he got bit yesterday yeah. by the spider. Fuck, no, he's like doing backflips. Yeah, stuff. he just did a backflip over my, I would have quit after the first backflip. I, I like, saw ah. a tweet where people were like, how didn't they figure out that he wasn't Spider-Man? I know, he does like a he, double backflip, triple backflip. And then he like shoots a web out of his hand yeah. in the hole. Oh, yeah, it's it a little more direct. Yeah. And they're like, what? Why is that? Why is that tray being pulled by web? Why did he just punch? Well, I guess Flash those like punching lockers into fucking oblivion too. But he he literally punches him like thirty feet. Yeah. Like if I saw that, I'd be like, his sternum yeah, in one what punch. the fuck? <laughs> I, I'd be you horrified. Know, be- between the nerd all of a sudden doing a double backflip and punching his bully who he's had a problem with for a long time, Wait thirty a feet, second. And, and then the web, I'd be like, I'm what? starting to put some stuff together here. And then all of a sudden, the next the next week, a masked vigilante yeah. that does all the same things uh, on the regular shows up. Peter hasn't been to school in <laughs> two months. And Spider-Man's he, been around yeah, two months. After he shot that web and beat up the strongest, biggest guy in the world. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> he caved in his heart with one punch. And he did a triple backflip. <laughs> Hold on. <clears throat> And now he's getting laid. Something, <laughs> yeah. Something weird uh, is after we took that field trip to the spider museum. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Wait a second. Uh, yeah. Uh, Good stuff, yeah. though. Anyways. Uh, so, yeah, you go on your trip. I'll probably scrounge up some more of the patron money because it's like the ninth of patron checks cleared. You go travel. I'll go travel. We'll meet up for another episode next yeah, time. And next time we'll probably have... Canes, top hats, monocles, <laughs> All grills. Uh, what are other things rich people? Um, have we're we're going to get Scrabble attitudes. and then we'll Scrabble. put it out and complain about it the whole time. Well, well, words I don't know. Set up. They Stop, were they, clean this dude, place up. <laughs> we played a lot of Scrabble there. It was like the only board game. A lot of people coming over and be like, hmm, you could spell like indubitably there. I'm like, what the? F- dude, I'm spelling like four letters max. <laughs> I'm getting like 10 points mm. a word. Uh, spell syzygy. You have the yeah. capabilities. <laughs> syzygy uh, right there. Decadent is easy. To, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, there's a lot of that. And I'd be like, is a word? <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, I, I've, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, you, yeah. Next uh, episode, guys, keep your eyes out for a special Easter egg. It's going to, it's going to be this <laughs> Easter egg. It's going to be this really special moment you're going to love. Yeah. Keep your ears out for something that's never been in an episode before. You guys are going to fucking skin us alive. Yeah, they're not going <laughs> to like it. The end. <laughs>